about to actually move towards it. Yeah. Kind of, sort of, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the biggest cash point I've had in some time. So, we've got three narrative, How five inspiration, three hero points. Oh, nice. I, I don't know what's going on. Got a big on. old cash of points. I think I've been rolling really well. I'm not kidding. Um, yeah. We are streaming. We're just oh, starting we soon. Yeah, right. we just started. Not neat. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Poe. Um, the Can last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we'll, we'll do it in a second. The <laughs> yeah. last thing you guys had going on was you had Mahat Hala uh, transport you to as close to the third ring of the Outlands as possible. And she transported you through uh, into these things she, she called the Deadlands. And she said <clears throat> she can't bring you any closer. Uh, so you're actually at the top of, val of a valley. To the right, uh, I described tombstones all um, down the hill, ruined graveyard, you know, that stretches on and on and on. And there's this massive valley in front of you. Obviously mountainous around. <clears throat> down at the bottom of it, in the valley is so low, there's a winding river um, and a bridge that's all broken and ramshackled. Uh, the river is about as wide as the Ohio River, so it's pretty wide, mm -hmm. like a quarter mile or something. Uh, on the other side, you see the ruins of a tower, a mighty tower that's been like, uh, like imagine... Um, a meteorite hit it, and it just exploded into pieces. Uh, and then the landscape goes on, and on and on and on, over hills and through the woods and shit, you eventually see the infinite spire. Um, and so you're in this thing called the Deadlands. It's black and white. Think like uh, when you put the one ring on. Yeah. Except not as flamey and such. Um, there's just no color whatsoever. I think it's WandaVision. It's, everything's black and white. Right, yeah. Uh, and she gave... She basically peaced out. But I believe it was Arlo talked about the Deadlands because she knew the necromancy. She said that necromancy would be weird here and it might draw certain kinds of unwanted attention. And she also gave some rules, which I'm not going to repeat. You guys have to remember those rules. Or tell Poe. Uh, and if you don't, you don't know. Uh, the only thing I really recall was that um, she said there were rules, but she kind of wouldn't tell us the rules. No, Arlo did. Oh. Um, yeah, Mahat Hala just left, yeah, and you Mahat had a really you had a really cool scene I know where one was that necromancy doesn't work the same here. Yeah. It's not really a rule so much, but just a warning. So, uh, so where was Mahat Hala? I don't Hala? remember. Actually, I remember the dialogue, but I don't remember what was said. I yeah. I mean, it was right at the end. Of right the, at the end. And and you were already gone, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I apologize. I don't remember. That's yeah. okay. All right, let's do some mics, <coughs> right quick. We'll do Dav first. Uh, Dav and the uh, um, you know, is making the mouth words, and his mic is on, so he doesn't feel like an idiot about talking whenever there's nothing picking up. Uh, but, hey, but I yeah. think you're good. Uh, for the chat, if one of us starts dropping the audio, uh, let us know because we can replace batteries and stuff. Uh, Nigel. Hello, this is Hagen Mud Move. <clears throat> I move mud. Can you hear me you okay? move mud. So weird that mic. Make sure it's on this way. Yeah. I thought it would help if I turned it on. Okay. <laughs> I didn't turn it on. It's on now. Yep, I'm here. Now. Look at that. I can hear you now. I hear you now. All right, sweet. Um, is Hayther here? Not yet. Okay. Uh, she said in the Discord earlier that she was probably going to be a little late. Okay, what about Poe? Oh, Poe, it's me. You good? Poe's not here, but this is some guy. Sarah Rith. Hajime Ashoka. Yeah. And Marad. Party on! Oh my God. Yeah, we're good. Remind me uh, to to do a, a test for for Hayther. Somebody. I see beforehand it let me 
easily have the little chat thing in here. And now it won't. I'm not hmm. going to sweat it. Oh, well. What's up, little Gotham? How you doing? All right. We have 75 followers. Whoa. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> okay. Uh, hello, everybody. We're Richmond Fay. We're the Dreddies. We're playing Richmond Fay. Jesus. I don't think I actually introduced this <clears throat> the last two or three times. <laughs> um, right. So it's a bunch of fighters and rogues who multi-classed way too late. They're in the Outlands, in the Plains of Existence. This is Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Uh, we heavily homebrew, use a lot of dread lore system rules. So you'll see those if you have any questions. Ask. Thanks to the Patreon people remaining. <laughs> Nigel Miller, Daniel Holker, and Tim Roberts. I think about canceling it every month, but then I forget. <laughs> no, that's, that's how I get you. That's how I get you. Uh, right. We are, we're coming on the, the conclusion of this campaign, this three-year-long campaign. Who knows when it's going to happen? But it'll happen in about a month. <laughs> so we'll do some... Tell the players uh, when it's going to happen. Yeah, I, you, never, play you never tell the players. Uh, we'll go around the, the peoples and do the descriptions. We'll start with Hagen. Uh, Hagen Mudmover. Uh, he's a human barbarian rogue. Uh, he's like 6'4", 220. Uh, very large, quite strong, quite angry. He has a long beard, long brown hair, kind of a caveman face, except cuter. A little button, little button nose, little dark eyes, little chick with teeth. Wears um, coveralls that are muddy. Wears boots. He's got a big uh, rucksack with a whole bunch of stuff in it, like tools and supplies. Carries his killing shovel, a spade that he hits people with. Um, he also has a sword, a javelin. Uh, a hammer, uh, a gator skull shield, an angelic gauntlet, <laughs> yeah. uh, a variety of knickknacks and magic items like rings and bracers and a uh, cloak. Um, physically, that's what he looks like. He's a good old boy from the swamps of Craster, the hillbilly Shrek, and uh, tries his best to be a good guy. <laughs> All right, we'll go to Dav. Uh, Dav and Theoda, I'm a rock gnome with force gnome tendencies. Um, I am blue, dabba dee, dabba die. Um, I've got a suit that I wear. It is also blue. Uh, I have, uh, what color is my, I don't know what color my hair is anymore. Because it used to be white. It used to be white. Dark. I think it's, on the mini, it's white. That's, uh, that's true. But we did we did briefly say that when you put on that fire giant belt, it did change things. Okay. Yeah. I just uh, don't remember all the details that changed. Uh, I think you have blonde hair now. Okay. And uh, amber eyes. Okay. And sort of a stench of charcoal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm wearing a black cloak that, that makes me hard to see. Uh, I've got a giant strength belt and a big old angelic axe. Um, yep. Yeah. Yep, fighter. I, I chop people and then sometimes make things go woo with magic. Yeah. All right, we'll go to Poe. I'm Poe Papillion. Uh, I'm dressed to the nines with a nice shimmery cloak. Uh, I've got pockets for days with so much stuff in them that... Um, I don't even know what they are. <laughs> yeah, they could just explode because it's magic mating in there at any point in time. <laughs> um, did we take a long rest in the last game? Yes. Okay. Um, did dawn happen? No. Did dawn come? Just yeah. Sure. I don't know who it, dawn it, is. Did it happen? <laughs> <laughs> did it happen? Nope. Is that it? That's all I got, unless you need me to say something else. <laughs> all right, we'll go Sarah. Hello, I am Sarah with Ramir. I am a level 10 half fighter, half elf. Uh, I have blonde hair and am about five foot six. I have lots of armor and weapons. I'm currently wearing Dwarven plate armor that's kind of like goldishy in color. 
And then I have a javelin, a lightning, a sword, a couple swords, I think, still. Uh, a, a, a glaive, um, a shotgun. <laughs> I think that's I think that's all actually all the weapons. Oh no no, I have Gilgamesh's short spear and yep. a shield too. Yep. Yeah. And so, some yeah. magic paints. And some magic paints that I'm quickly running out of. Yep. Um, so yeah, so I will not be able to spam grenades as much anymore. But you know, maybe I'll get something else that <laughs> will do that. I don't know. <laughs> Go Marad. Marad will eat anything without parasites. And he's aware of the parasites. Right. Now that I mean, <laughs> they can be cooked separately. Hagen slips the parasites in your food after it's cooked. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, man. <laughs> Keeps a small pile of parasitic worms. <laughs> Keeps oh, you lean. Huh? Yeah. Keeps you lean. Yeah. Best weight loss we, practices. I we, think being I think being in constant combat for the last six months, uh, some of which has been spent in actual hell, is probably doing the job. Yeah, we do not condone actually taking tapeworms. That's why we all have bloody shits. Uh, wait, that's why? Yeah. What? Anyways, <laughs> uh, Murad is a fighter slash uh, bard uh, slash aspiring comedian slash uh, dude with a machete. Slash. 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 Slashing. A slashing dude. <laughs> slash. They're just pets you keep on the inside. Uh, and <laughs> all right, so let's do the NPCs uh, while we wait on the Hather. Uh, so everybody, do an NPC. Uh, Nami, uh, dragon person, bronze, uh, patinaed, right? Yeah. Patinaed scales. Bronze and silver. Yeah, bronze and silver. Um, the daughter of Utsunde, the daughter of Nala, who's not in this game. Uh, she's a healer. She's a a cleric. Yeah, but she's, what is she? Uh, a tempest? Mm, yeah. Uh, leathers, wears leathers um, with like flowy, kind of cleric y uh, robes. Uh, does she carry weapons? We, Not really. No, she I don't think claws. she says. Yeah. Uh, she's like 15. Yeah. She has a tail, too. Yeah, she has a tail. <clears throat> she's uh, naive, uh, a little bit stubborn. And, uh, no, she's not. Yeah, she's naive, stubborn, <laughs> but uh, but brave, yeah. like her father. Uh, who you want to do? Arlel is a moon elf. Um, she is she's a necromancer. Um, what's what's her actual class? I always forget. She's a necromancer. Is that so? That's that's her actual class. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's homebrewed as fuck. Sweet. Um, so yeah, she's a necromancer, a uh, moon elf, she, she looks to the untrained eye like a, uh, a drow, um, and, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah, her class is built off the true necromancer from 3.5. Okay. So basically, some arcane and some cleric spells. Okay. Okay. Poe, who would you like to do? Um, uh, Melolo. Uh, looks you like... Yeah, you would. <laughs> looks like Beatrix Lestrange. Uh, Bellatrix. Bellatrix Lestrange. She's a very crazy. Used to be very crazy until Hater smacked the shit out of her. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she gave her the, the slap of sanity. Her, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which one day we'll probably run into her evil son who made her crazy in the first place. Yeah. So. Jeff Feth. Yeah, but the, we'll see if that when and if that happens. All right, uh, next I'll do Radagast, who is a ca fancy carpet that looks like the carpet. Well, no. Did we decide he looks like the carpet from Aladdin? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But bigger, I would suppose. Yeah. Um, and then every once in a while, he's a small boy, and there might be more to that, but maybe we'll never find out. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will do a Param. Param Augusta. Is it Augusta or Augustus? Augusta. Augusta. Param Augusta. Is a mere mortal. <laughs> now. Now. If you cut her, she will bleed. If she bled before, it's just gold. Yeah, it's not gold anymore. Uh, she's a fallen angel of some sort. There we go. 
<laughs> I was gonna say, is that all? <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you remember what she, who she looks like? No. She looks like Tilda Swinton mm -hmm. from Constantine. So she looks like Gabriel from Constantine, if you've seen it. Basically, uh, yeah, she looks like an angel. She uh, no, there's no wings. She gave me, or she gave me Rod the sight back one at one point, uh, but didn't do I mean, did an okay job. Like, I did, did the kind of job you'd expect without without really good insurance, right? Uh, you know, maybe maybe a, a an ophthalmology student, a trainee. Uh, <laughs> it's like their first time. It happens, right? And yeah. that was when she was immortal. Right. Uh, immortal. Uh, immortal. Now she's just mortal. Now she got her license revoked. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Kentucky Fried Dies. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that little... <laughs> That little sound. We don't hear them often. I set them a long time ago, and I forgot what they were. <laughs> uh, yeah. When someone follows, it's really funny. Okay. Uh, is that everyone? Oh, yeah. We have uh, Grothrit and Grignir. Mm -hmm. uh, they are two bearded devils, but we kind of mixed bearded and barbed devils. They're sailors. Uh, they're kind of brothers. They follow our resident drow around. Uh, hey there. One of them, uh, Grothrit, wears a dress uh, over top of his armor, and uh, he's wearing Crocs as well. And uh, Grignir just looks like a sailor. Although I think he has armor too. I think Hayther outfitted yeah. them. Um, <clears throat> right, you also have Bryce. Bryce no, from the yeah. stream. You want to do Bryce? Uh, Bryce looks like Val Kilmer from Willow. Yeah. So, uh, Mad, Mad Mardigan. Mad Mardigan. Uh, he's, he's missing some teeth. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's an old friend of Hagen. They serve together on an airship. In another life, um, Bryce is younger than Hagen. Not considerably, but enough to where Hagen briefly mentored him. Uh, he's what you might call a, a lost cause. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he has a little bit of a lost cause. <laughs> uh, right. So, um, we'll do... We'll describe Hather, um, since uh, she'll be in a little bit later. Uh, Poe, would you like to describe Hather? Um, Hather is a drow. Um, she has dark or darkish skin, light hair. Oh yeah, she's got ashen, like ashen, like yeah. charcoal, ashen skin. Yeah. yeah. She has white hair. Um, her eyes change color. Yeah. Depending on whether that she's white mad. Color. Aren't they purple, and then they go to red if she, when she, the drow comes out of her? There's another color too, isn't there? Green. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah, because she's got an infernal tattoo. Uh, um, she's got a uh, a vorpal sword. Now. Yeah, she has a vorpal mm -hmm. sword. Yeah. yeah. Um, and some daggers and tons and tons of scorpions and bullets. Lots of dead scorpions in her bag. <laughs> yeah. She's wearing uh, mithril armor. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, she normally has Radagast around her, like either a poncho or a um, a scarf, uh, and then he'll go into her bag of holding, which is where he is right is now. Mithril, is it painted or is it just? I believe it is painted black, mm -hmm. uh, like blackened, yeah. so it doesn't shine. Right. Um, right. Quite, shiny. Yeah. Quite <laughs> bright, yeah. For a rogue, and she is a rogue, uh, an assassin. And we have Arlo. Oh, he already did Arlo. Arlo. Oh. And. Did Majoria stay with us? Oh, yeah, she... we have Majoria. Jeez, you have so many NPCs. <laughs> Go ahead and do Majoria. <laughs> Majoria is... Uh, she's a tiefling. Um, she looks a little bit older, but she hides it. Um, very, very powerful sorcerer. <coughs> Warlock. Warlock, Warlock, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's a little bit of a strange brew because initially... She kind of, she came off as a bard. Yeah. Right, yeah. But she is clearly not. Yeah. yeah. She has uh, great powers of suggestion, which is literally what you said, or what you saw, because she was yeah. singing, and she's a beautiful singing voice um, and high performance. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, 
Turns out she's something a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she has white hair, black horns. Um, I think I described her as having uh, blue eyes, I think. And uh, sort of a, a, a ruddy complexion, <clears throat> I think. They change. You know, tans. Okay. I'm going to change this and goddamn song. Oh, my God. Little D. Did we describe Little D? No. Oh, and there's Little Mother D. Motherfucking Little D. Jesus. There's so many. I even have them written down. <laughs> uh, little D is a little blonde child who appears to be elven currently, right? Yeah. Fae. Fae. That's yeah, right. Perfect. That's the word we usually use. Um, uh, piercing green eyes, and, and we are still pretty sure she's an emerald dragon. Yeah. Long so. ears. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, her ears are like... You know, yeah. pop out. Uh, there's a good chance she's an emerald dragon, yeah. uh, an adult dragon, yeah. um, and she she's modeled after uh, Newt uh, from yes. Aliens. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Will this work? <clears throat> Three thirty a.m. Does this suck? We'll see if this song sucks. You know, I realized what the problem is. When we all got turned into dragons, we actually kind of retained some of those traits, so uh -huh. now we're gathering a horde of NPCs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're so clever. Yeah. I forget about that sometimes. <laughs> I'm happier when I do. Back in the day. What? All right. So, uh, that's that's the basic thing. Uh, we'll do a short recap. Oh, Thanks, sir. Magic circle. Yeah, so many NPCs. <laughs> we, we have more... What is it? We have like eight... Or nine NPCs. No, we have we have we have ten NPCs. We have ten NPCs. Every character has multiple NPCs. Ten NPCs Actually, with you. I think I'm the only. I think me, you, no, and, you and me are the only ones who don't have any NPCs. Like yeah, followers. Really, they belong to the three of us. Yeah. yeah. You have ten. You have ten NPCs right with you right now. Yeah. Uh, and then you have about five to seven back in, in Sigil. I, mean, yeah. I probably would have eaten Jacraw by now. If we hadn't. <laughs> How many do we have in Star Wars? Uh, um, okay, no. All right. <clears throat> so for a brief recap, thanks, sir. Last game, you all, uh, Poe was not here. You were at the Balancing Mountain resting. It was a big, long rest. Most of you uh, were down at the base of the mountain. During that time, Hagen went and got uh, saw Bryce trying to escape. So it's like that, like that scene when uh, what's his name? The first name of Cochran in Star Trek. Oh, Doctor Cochran. Um, anyway. The guy. Invented, <clears throat> yeah, the guy who invented Green. warp drive. Yeah, this guy warp, warp speed. Uh, he's got a cool name. His first uh, name is Ephraim. Ephraim. Yeah, Ephraim Cochran. When he's like running off. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, Bryce is trying to run off. In the woods, Hagen catches up with him, uh, realizes that actually Dav gave an excellent recap in the Discord, okay. uh, but I'm not going to read it because it's boring to read. <laughs> realized that Bryce was having dealings with the Vramamir and just seedy folks. He's up to no good, um, and he's a criminal. Uh, he had some alchemical teeth, uh, alchemical jeweled teeth that you guys you'd found these things. Um, or we're told about these things on the astral ship, the Githyanki ship. You know they can be used for war. Uh, you know that this sort of... I, I might be connecting dots here. This sort of technology is anathema, meaning it's an abomination. Uh, there's something warp and, warped and corrupted about it. Um, and it can be used for machines of war. So I'll leave it there. Anyway, he had him as teeth. Hagen knocked him out and collected them. Uh, and Hagen did not share any of this information with you all. Brought Bryce back. Meanwhile, uh, Hather went up the mountain to see if Radagast was coming back. He did. And then while she was up there, she saw a Bodai tree atop it, and there's a swordswoman up there. Hather <clears throat> investigates. Meanwhile, Marad... Uh, and Dav investigate too. They all get high off of the tea. <laughs> Waitfeld, the swordswoman, uh, is serving. It's amicable. Hagen pops up, <laughs> is not having any of this, and it comes down to a duel 
uh, an honorable duel between Hagen and Waitfield. Turns out Waitfield is following something called the Pilgrim's Path. It begins on Craster. Uh, she is from Craster, so is Hagen, so are several of you. You have uh, the stakes. If she wins, she asks Hagen to help bring back one of her old friends to sanity. Um, she's rather vague on that, but his name is Ridley. She calls him the dragon. <clears throat> but that doesn't matter because Hagen wins. Uh, the stake being, if Hagen wins, she will kill someone for him. He just has to ask. Uh, when he wins, she uh, tells him that he owns her sword now, at least for the time being. The sword is this uh, Chinese broadsword, and um, it's of excellent make. Uh, almost like He-Man, the way that you can <laughs> potentially summon her. She was rather vague. She's very Gandalfy about it. She said, raise the sword in the air, say her name, and she will come and aid you. Um, so what that means, you don't know. She might say, oh, yeah, and then make her way two weeks later. No idea. Thundercats, Thundercats, Thundercats. Oh. oh. So. Don't, don't call her a hoe. You all go down the mountain uh, where the rest of you have role-played and such and, and, and rested. <coughs> uh, you call upon Mahat Hala, uh, the, the angel of death, or an angel of death, fallen angel, to do what she said she would do, and use her magic, her ability, whatever that is, to take you to, hopefully, the Tower of Dur, which is where you're going to meet Iskatov, uh, potentially be ambushed by Emiria, Hather's sister. And who knows what else? This is on the uh, nearer to the spire. It's in the third ring. So you guys, at the balancing mount mountain, were maybe at like the fifth so you're moving inward, and as you know, as you have been told, at least some of you, as you near the spire, magic works funnier and funnier and less and less. You knew that uh, you, uh, the Tower of Dur, it's hidden, but you were told some coordinates to find. Mahat Hala knew where it was, but the coordinates were where? Do you remember? Oh, um, near the Boneyards and... The, the Boneyard, the Graveyard of Gods. Graveyard, graveyard of the gods, and something cathedral. Yeah, hold on one second. Right? <clears throat> do, 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 do. And a uh, uh, what's it called? The crystalline river. Do, 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 do. So there's this winding river down there, um, and the Tower of Door is supposed to be on the other side of it. Well, turns oh, out the Mahat Brandy Brook, huh? Is it Brandy Brook? Brandy Brook. And the cemetery of the gods. Cemetery. Uh, Mahat Hala uh, takes you through a kind of interim plane of existence. It's called the Deadlands. It reminds you um, of the Grey Waste, uh, which is near the Abyss, and it's an unpleasant place. The Deadlands is different than that. It's somewhere between the Ethereal, kind of, and the Grey Waste. It's like a, uh, a purgatory. <clears throat> She says, or you find out from Arlo, that it is, you can travel from here and uh, get to the underworld. So it connects to some of those other places as well. Um, if one of you wants to know about the planes, or if you do know about the planes. There's certain rules here. Mahat Hala doesn't tell you any of this. She just leaves. She does tell you before she leaves that this is as far as she can take you. Uh, there is... Some curiosity that's preventing her from, from going further. So she bounces. In her smoky, goneness. <laughs> it's a great description. Mm -hmm. Behind it, Hagen had a really cool description of Mahat Hala evaporates, and you see Param Augusta behind her. Arlo tells you a few things, which I'll tell you now because you're just going to ask her anyway. <laughs> it tells <us> again. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll be like, no. <laughs> she gets shot in the head. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> she says Majoria. that... Majoria! 
<laughs> she says that uh, necromancy works funnily here. Um, also, the undead are here, and they're ravenous. Uh, supposedly, heroes or villains, people that have done great things, go here. Okay. And people that still have something to do, who are still clinging on, are here. <clears throat> and she says it in a way that makes it, it's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, one of the things is they are drawn to blood. And she says a legend is that if you dig a trench and you sacrifice, you make a sacrifice, a blood sacrifice in it, the undead will be called forth, but you can't let them drink it. What you can do is if you want to call forth a, a person who has died, if their soul is here, if you let them drink first, then they will treat with you and everyone is sated. So this is a way of like having the undead not attack you. But they've got to drink the blood first before they can talk and interact. The rule is whoever you call forth has to drink first. And this is just something she happens to say. If you want to know, it's in the Odyssey. That's where that's from. It's completely ripped out of that. So, I already described the scene. Uh, it's a big valley. Everything is black and white. Think WandaVision if you... I haven't seen it, but it's black and white. And I know that is. Um, there's a valley that, that goes down. It's rather steep. Uh, you're in an ancient cemetery. It's pretty obvious. You see boulders and such. Quickly you realize it's toppled over tombstones. Mighty tombstones. Think Herculean, uh, you know, Greek, you know, like statues and shit and stuff that's way too big. And it's going over the hills and through the woods. Uh, speaking of, there are woods on the sides. It's mountainous. Far below, I think I said a couple miles, because you can see uh, a pretty good distance down. You see this winding river about the uh, width of the Ohio, so around a quarter mile in places. Across from it, a broken tower. There is a ramshackle bridge. Uh, think of the bridge in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Uh, from this distance, you can't really tell what it's made of, but who knows? It, it, from the distance, you can tell it doesn't look like it's in good repair. <laughs> and uh, the graveyard glitter with that dead, right? Shambling undead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shambling undead. And down below in the in the valley, you can you can see whites kind of moving about as within a few minutes, slowly but surely, they are moving this direction. Like not like shambling like so the mixture of like undead and whites, both. All undead. Yeah, all of them. All of them. Yeah. Uh, now we're not talking about a big. We're not talking about a big army. Indeed, we're not talking about a big army. We're talking about like a horde, huh? A horde. A horde, of, and it's all scattered. Some of them are. Uh, think like in a video game when there's like a ghost sort of hovering around a tombstone. It's that kind of stuff. They're aimless. Okay, so that's the description. We shall start soon. Has hey there a message in the group? No. Okay. Well, hopefully she will jump in. Uh, Poe, you want to do a little marker thing? Mm -hmm. We're going to go to a loading deal, and then uh, we'll start soon. I already had it ready. Oh, <clears throat> did you? All I had to do was hit send. So we're going to start soon, in about 20 seconds. I like to do this so that people know we're actually going to be in game, rather than just like talking and bullshitting. Mm -hmm. You uh, think you forgot a sponsor? Oh yeah, what is the sponsor? Sponsor tonight is the Action Max Game Console. <laughs>
place that What the fuck? My brother watches a lot. But sometimes I get tired, like we go home for the weekend and yeah. he's got it on and I'm like seen this one twelve times already. Yeah, I know. It's been haunted for like twelve years or something. Yeah. So much is it? It's high school Yeah. <clears throat> When it first started, the first handful of seasons were really good, and it might still be good, but it was yeah. it kind of I got bored of it. After it's a while. it is still funny, but it's just yeah. Sam like loves it, she's yeah. funny. it's just it's one of those it's one of those mainstream. We've got that theirs back. Yeah, I know. Sometimes people okay. cringe, but I still love it. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Damn, so yeah, I got, I got blue lights over here too. I'm so mad at this it, It's it's so strange. It just <laughs> explodes. <laughs> just explodes. <laughs> Fuck. It's a no. I don't want to. I despise garage, garage door openers so much. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what our viewers want and need. <laughs> what? Garage door openers. That's the commercial that's running right now. <laughs> oh, is it really? Yeah. yeah. Anyone's a commercial fuckers. It's a the our our viewers need garage door openers. They clearly do. I've got a Renfield ad. Oh, I've had that twice already. Yeah. Lord, sorry everyone. I mean, I'm not sorry. It's not my fucking fault. But yeah, yeah. I do not understand. It just that one makes more sense. I don't, don't get it. I just don't fucking get it. Maybe hmm. I can unplug this and it'll be okay. Lord, I hate Macintosh. I don't know why. I have like five fucking Macs. <laughs> once, once you have one, you kind of have to keep going. Otherwise, you lose all compatibility. Yeah, everything's, everything's yeah. proprietary. So you God, it's so stuff. bad. Yeah. These USB Cs. Yeah. Apple, you could die. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start now. Oh, let me do the loading page. Yeah, Make sure it doesn't. God. Really? Uh, everything back sucks. Back. We're just going to do the fucking deal. We're just going to get Everything is awesome. Okay. We all do. The action is on you. It's on us. Um, so, so he just said we're, we're moving towards that horde, yeah? I mean, yeah. That, that disheveled tower down there, that's, that's what we're going to, yeah? Wow. <clears throat> okay. Uh... I'm gonna roll survival. Can yeah. Egan see uh, options for paths that could get us around or through the graveyard the safest way possible? Yeah. Do it. Didn't roll that well, so I'm gonna roll that. That was exactly the same number. Nice. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it. This is one. What was that number? Six, but uh, with survival would make it a uh, fourteen. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go with it. Yeah. I don't have to be great all the time. <laughs> but if, you are. If I flew him into the air to get a better view, could I get him advantage? I mean, you don't know what his numbers are, but you could try to we do could that. Also just fly over there. But you could uh, totally uh, take the action. That would, that would, that would uh, it, it, there's a couple of paths to go through over there. I'm gonna go around. It takes forever. <clears throat> so with your, maybe if I get a eagle eye view. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, let me let me take you up there a little higher. Okay, let me rub my eyes here. Try right. again. Uh, you wanna give me a? Uh, uh, I rolled a, a die. <laughs> yes. It's a weight. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled the same number again. <laughs> uh, oh, it's wow. determined. <laughs> wow. So 14. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That right. looks the same for my beard. <laughs> yeah. What happens if I roll the same number three times? I was going to say, I don't even know the answer. Depends on the number. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, as Hagen, what you get from looking on the ground, so you get a couple different things we'll say. Because you know what the DC is. Uh, look on the ground, and you you see what I you see what I described. Uh, it looks like you could probably take to the right is where the the cemetery proper is. Think of like mausoleums, and you can see them like going over a hill and then rolling hills. I guess I should describe behind you to your left is mountainous, like the crag, and it and it it drops off. Think Mordor. 
<clears throat> where they get lost. To the right, it starts going into rolling hills and like more of a cemetery proper. And it looks vast. Like you can, as far as the eye can see. Granted, uh, think of a very overcast day in, in snow because it's black and white and there's all this sort of uh, misty dust. <clears throat> you could probably go through the, the uh, graveyard and would have an easier time when it comes to a path. You go through the crag, which would be obviously far more difficult. You clearly have to do some climbing, like proper climbing, climbing down, uh, potentially getting lost. You don't know. But maybe it would be safer when you're not going through a graveyard. Yeah. You can't tell from this distance, but there's that. Then there's going through the valley. It's the most direct route. You can literally see uh, where you need to go, the tower. But it's almost completely open. Uh, the more sneaky of you, there's plenty of places to hide, but, you know, there's a point where you're walking, yeah, like, in their midst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's somewhat hilly, like, moguls, and uh, uh, think, like, fallen down pillars. There's, and it's all, like, uh, mossed over. Ruins of maybe a city. Uh, but it, it's, it's pretty out in the open. As you guys go up in the air, how far do you go up? Um, this mountain, or the mountainous part, uh, looks up maybe 60, 70 feet at the tallest point. Um, turning back, you see you've come through a mountain, like a mountain pass. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go up 100 feet. Okay. Hagen and Poe, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. When we mess up Dav and Poe, we have to drink. You guys do, too. It's racist. We're little people. <laughs> They're completely uh, different races. Yeah. <laughs> Dav and Hagen uh, fly up into the air. As Dav, your wings activate. <clears throat> you grab onto Hagen. Oh. Uh, I get used to it. Which is hilarious because you're a little gnome carrying a large man. <laughs> yep. Uh, Hagen, he's rather strong. As <laughs> you get about 50-ish feet into the air. Mm -hmm. And you go through the low-lying fog, the cloud. <sighs> do do you hear wings? <sighs> A predator. Awesome. You're not sure. As you look around, it's all overcast. As you go up, you get up to about 80 feet. And that's when... Uh, what's your passing mm -hmm. perceptions? Uh, 22. I was going to say, mine's low. <laughs> Think, roll think little, your perception. Okay. Roll perception. Yeah, okay. Uh, 15. Did you roll the same thing again? 19. Oh. I'm rolling crap tonight. As, well, uh, I was doing him. Do you oh. want my passive or do we actually roll it? One, of the, one, of, the, one of the new rules uh, that I've seen on the Twitters, because I've been looking at some new ways of doing things, is passive can be you don't have to roll. Uh, which is a way to use it in the book, uh, or the way to use it in the book. But another thing to do is, because there's such a power creep at high levels, the idea is if you have high enough passive perception, then you get a roll. Sure. Oh, I see. <clears throat> and so it kind of makes it a little more balanced, <clears throat> so someone doesn't have like like a plus 22, and yeah. it's like, well, you're you always going to see everything. See everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to keep it uh, like a game. Right. Yeah. At any rate... As you go up, looking around, you in fact see in the mist, like the movie Mist, essentially oh, ring wraith looking guys, like. Oh, like fell beast. Yeah, uh, here and there. So there are things up here. Oh my goodness! What? You see those, those giant things. There, you oh, see this shit, cloud go. Oh shit! As you yeah. get about that high up, take us down. This is not safe. Your wings turn off. Okay. Okay. Kind of like in uh, that scene in um, not Royal Tenenbaums, what is it called? Life Aquatic, uh, where the helicopter's like, Poof. oh no. <laughs> There's a moment where you kind of drift and start falling. Okay. Tell me high or low. Uh, high. Auto rotate. As auto -rotate. you plummet. Uh huh. 
already rolled. I figured. You guys do anything? Or do you just land? Um, <laughs> what? I, I, Hagen will um, uh, tap his, his boots <laughs> and start levitating. <laughs> As you tap your boots, maybe you fall 30, 40 feet. Because you know, it's it instantaneous. As it... And you guys see them descend rather quickly, like like in a parachute. Like, this might hurt a bit. As you, your heels just sort of click on the oh. gl- ground, oh, and your wings turn back on. Let's not do that again. What happened? Yeah, uh, then they. Uh, what'd you get? Performance anxiety. Think they shut off? That wasn't me. I didn't do that. That's what they all say. As, wow. as Arlo oh, goes, Hagen. oh right, I was going to tell you, magic works. Wait, I've already told you. Why did my boots work? I don't make the rules. Well, yeah. I'm glad they did work. Yeah, me too. It's not the first time Dabs had to stop early. Wow. I thought, you didn't, stop, I, thought, I thought you didn't know about that, but okay. Whatever. <laughs> right. That's inspiration. You don't ever win in the town. No, no. I <laughs> turned down to Burger King afterwards and told everybody. That bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Did All you, right. Did you, I'm sorry, go on. Well, I was going to say, good to know. Uh, I shouldn't rely on the flying so much out here. Well. While you were up there, mm-hmm. you did get a bird's eye view. Uh, in fact, there is a path. Uh, think yellow brick road style, except, you know, horrific and black and white and horrific. Horrific. Through the graveyard. The sequel that leads down. That leads down along the river you saw and then to the bridge um so you were correct about that well it was not all for not learned a couple of things first there's giant things flying in the clouds yeah uh, let's keep a low profile secondly um we've got some options about where we can go and uh it's all quite precarious we can climb we can duck we can deal with these things what you call them? Undead? Or... Yes, these are technically whites, whites. undead, maybe a zombie or two? What's a zombie? A zombie? You don't know what a zombie is. Oh. It's, um... It's, um... Isn't that pretty much just undead? Basically, yes. It's someone who's been resurrect... No, it's not really resurrection, is it? Hmm. I've never quite questioned what a zombie is. Are they is. all going to be aggressive? Well, here, I, I don't know. Perhaps, if they smell blood. Yeah. Oh. There's, a, there's a path that goes through the graveyard, along down the river, and to the bridge, and uh, it looks like it might be the safest and fastest route if we're quick and careful. Um, it goes along the river, and I think that might keep us from getting lost. You guys who are just sort of standing there waiting... You notice that the fog that's low-lying, circling around your calves, starts to slowly lick up at your knees and then fall down, almost like hands that grasp up as you stand still. You notice Melville looking around, "Ah," and she moves. (laughs) For me, it's my waist. Does it it feel like anything? No, okay. it's cold. It is cold here. Not for me. Yeah, no, I'm just yeah you're feeling you're feeling good. Uh, we we may want to get a move on. This yeah. this is like it's swallowing me. Yeah, around uh, yeah, right you two, it's up on your your, your midriff <laughs> and oh, looking yeah. at your necks. Oh, I don't like yeah. that. Yep, yep. Oh, you can both ride my shoulders. Oh, sweet. Don't fight up there. <laughs> I'd win. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not touching him. Uh, <laughs> Hayther, I'm assuming, is flying on Radagast with her devils uh, about five, six feet off the ground. Well, um, some of you hop up there, I'd say, and then we, and then we get moving. I was going to see if the fog was reaching up towards the carpet as well but i got a oh 
14. Uh, do you use your eyeballs? Yes. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's look easy. But the DC see. is two. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's there. That's even reaching up to the carpet. It's Where... not catching it, though. Does it kind of crawl up my legs? Mm -hmm. As you, when you stand still for more than like 10, 15 seconds, it just sort of slowly and, and then dissipates. And we don't stand still. It's, it does, it can't grasp. Just, we just don't dilly dally. I attempt to stab it. You uh, do. I have a better idea. It just discorporates. He can take like the, fog. the horse statue and drop it. Uh, Timmy Harlow? Hi. It's magic. It's lost in the fog. Damn it. I tend to find it. Yeah. <laughs> it's be investigate. Uh, would it be investigate or perception? Investigate. Uh, It'd be like losing a drill bit 16, in the yard. 16. <laughs> yeah. As you... Anybody have magnet? Magnet? <laughs> uh, hey, what happens if you pick it up above the fog and it, like... Yeah, as you... Horse? You find it. Yeah. Maybe try again. Can I... Roll that use magic device. Sure. Little D giggles <laughs> as she like. <laughs> Twenty-two. Yep. Oh god! As it pops up. All right. A horse. <laughs> it looks over at you. This horse. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Oh, this guy is it a male or female horse? I right, look. Hi. Well, it's kind of weird. We'll say hi is. A female, low is a male. Gives you a big old cock and balls. If it gives you a uh, gives you any trouble, I uh, I can break them pretty fast. You can have it back. <laughs> it's yours. I just don't trust you to not drive it into a camp. All right, I will do that again. <laughs> All right. I, I know. It does not take kindly to such treatment. I know how to use it now. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I know I know how to yeah. use. It's, her name's Matilda. All right. That's fine by me. We had to name somebody else's well, horse. That's all. <laughs> yeah. You have 11 NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you want me to ride? You may ride Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> but only Any, this once. Anyone else need a lift? <laughs> yeah, anyone ride. I put it there so people don't have to be in the Roll place. animal handling. Can I give an advantage? I mean, he's probably good at it. I mean, no, it's yeah, not about we, him being good at it's it. Not about it's about him. Matilda he remembering. Matilda into <laughs> oh, yeah. it. It should have liked it. It's all right. Girl. Yeah, he could get advantage for that. Yeah. I feed her some, I don't know, whatever I've got. <laughs> what do you, some what you, granola. Yeah, you have, some jerky. And yeah, some you do. <laughs> That's a 19. Yeah. Uh, with Hagen distracting her, you easily pop up. Uh, for the first time, it looks like Marad is in his element as he easily, like dressage style, the he horse steps moves back around. 10 feet. Draw your bow. Don't shoot anything. Just, just hold it. Uh, Holy uh, shit. Uh, here it is. What is that? <laughs> the one time we'll see it. What is this? Now please put it away before you hurt someone. You, you, you hear this. Oh! <laughs> and like, a, like a hawk. Is that your craw? So, um, whoever wants to ride on my shoulders can. The horse is there. Hagen will walk in the fog. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> uh, Lil D is walking next to you. Uh, Majoria gets on the carpet. Pretty much everyone else gets on the carpet, Lil D, but Bryce. Ride on the horse? No, I want to be here. You want me to carry you? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bryce will be next to you. As Bryce looks over, tell me how look. Hi. Bryce goes, I'll carry you. She's like, He's a lot and of things, but he's not creepy. <laughs> he seems creepy. She says pretty loud. Yeah. I can carry you. You carry me, so it's only fair. No, you got one arm. And they, they both work. <laughs> she scrunches up her face. Are you appendagist? What? That's like less arms. You like it's almost like racist. Oh. But... No, he's just cold. Uh, oh, well, I mean, yeah. okay, fair. Metal. I gave Bryce the machete. Uh, he can draw his uh, javelin. I hand it to him. There. Take this. Yeah, thanks. It's, uh, it's a bit sharper than that machete. I use it as a spear. 
What's this? It's a javelin, but use it like a spear. Uh. I don't trust you to retrieve it. All right. Uh, it's a plus one javelin. It's roll. better than the Go on. regular machete. Uh, roll persuasion. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> he can uh, hurt things that can't be hurt by regular weapons. Or run away with. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not persuasive at all. Oh, what you get? Uh, well, that'd be a ten. <laughs> or yeah, something it's fine. Well. <laughs> uh, you don't have to get like a high deal for this. As uh, you all are walking and such, um, and soon thereafter, Lil D, you notice, is like batting away. Things because she's rather short yeah. uh, as she climbs up onto your shoulders. Just for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> and she's like a kid, you know, with her legs around your shoulders. And You're still kinda, quite like, independent and brave. It doesn't make you think any lesser of you. She smiles. <laughs> you know, one thing I'm wondering uh-huh. is why, because obviously, you know, we saw you as just not a little kid before. Are we? You're not about to ask her about her age. Right? No, 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 no. I don't care about her age. I'm just okay. curious, like, why do you choose? I tried that earlier. Why, why do you choose to be a little kid you when you could be career. an adult? I don't know. I mean, fair enough. I just, just, you know. I mean, I've been an adult before. Yeah. Didn't like it? Eh. Nah, it's overrated. I agree. Uh, which direction do you go? I take the, the old road. Yep, as you... Start heading into the graveyard. A graveyard. <laughs> so, uh, Hagen will lead uh, Marad on horseback, will take the rear. Um, that makes reason, makes sense for a few reasons. And um, you two are riding on my shoulders, mm-hmm. so we're up front in the carpet. Are you walking? I'm walking. Yeah. So, you could just be right behind us, I guess, and the carpet will be kind of. Yep. Uh, I'm going to be paying attention since I'm not having to walk. So, I'm watching. To help yeah. different areas. Heads on a swivel. Is there a is there a, a horse like a mounted charging <laughs> mechanic in Five E? No. And that's why I thought you could from the back, so they can attack the front. You can charge it. What kind of horse is it? Oh yeah, it's got to be a battle horse. I think it's a, a war, war horse. horse. Yeah. yeah. And right. they've got a trample or that's something. Right. It is because uh, it is a war horse. Not that Marad wouldn't try it anyway. And it, it has a smarter intelligence than most horses Plus, because it's magic. Plus, you range better in the rear. Yeah. yeah. So, that was my thought process. Back in the Yes. Notice I didn't draw this. This time first, because I didn't know which way to reach first. <laughs> that's Sorry. that's thinking, thinking right there. Um. Okay, it's off the. Yeah. Off the drawing board. Okay. So, so it is a war horse. Of course, of course. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because it's, like I said, it's smarter than average horses as well because it's magic. Okay. Okay. You guys enter from over there. Uh, That's me. This is like a uh, think of like a Beetlejuice gate, like wrought iron. Or um, think like uh, uh, in Hocus Pocus, Mm -hmm. the graveyard. There are these willow trees, weeping willows, all black and white with moss, like Spanish moss hanging down. Um, You know, it's a spooky uh, graveyard. (laughs) It's a a graveyard. I didn't draw... I didn't draw yes. the. Okay, you okay being that? Yeah, totally. Oh, I can draw the the, the main muscle. If you just fear what's going to be completely not paid attention. How did I use this name? The horse. That's Matilda. Okay. 
GNG. Um, well, here's. Param would probably be walking. I would assume. Yeah, yeah where is Param? Param, she's with you. She'll be behind. She'll be. She'll be between the carpet and the rod. That way we're not too head front heavy. And we're just missing G and G. Yeah. Okay. And they're gonna stay these things because we don't have demon figures. I just think it. Some for some reason that just works better in my mind. Oh, and Nami. Okay. So Nami will be. <laughs> Nami will be. I'm trying to find something not too big. Oh, there's still a Nami in there. She can be. Should she be that thing of a gnome? Or should she mm -hmm. be. Which one should she be? Go with the, the, the smaller one just because it's smaller. Yeah. Is Nami going to be walking or she'll be able to walk? Yeah. Here we go. So. Why do we <clears> hate <throat> her such a cool one? She's not here. So, there are. God, there are loads. So many of us. Yeah. There are loads of things all around. You'll travel for a good, a good piece. Oh, oh, do we have a, a hey there? Yeah, I think so. You do. Uh -huh. Yeah. Welcome. <clears throat> let me uh. He's here. Let me make sure that I'm actually getting your your deal on the jig. Uh, go ahead and talk. I am talking. Huh. Entirely and as positively possible. Feel that? Check and see if it's on. I may not here. have. Yeah. Uh, here I am. Do I still talk? No. Hold on a second. It's okay. right. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, it's right there. I, I left it on closer to you. Thank you. No, it was on. <clears throat> it was on. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and talk, uh, Emrys. Yep. Go ahead and just uh, tell us about your day. Oh, man. Well, um, if it's not one thing wrong with your car, it's another. Yeah, so, I feel that. Um, yeah, I had lovely tire problems. Um, Did we? It's definitely not working. Is it turned on? Yeah. It's, it's over there. Gotcha. Cool. Um, hey, then you can continue talking. Uh, we're just going to change the battery. Uh, that we'll take, is fine. I, to, I'm only talking because you need me to. We'll take it really quickly. Have you? Uh, and I'm nice and do you know the trick about how to find where your tire is leaking or if it's leaking? You uh, spray uh, water bottle on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she can see the whole <laughs> I wish. But, you know, at least it's not an engine, so I'm just remaining steadfastly on the positive. I only got the part for my engine, uh, so I'm going to 
try that. Um, try to change that out and see if it fixes the engine, the oil burning problem and all that good stuff. Um, and now I just got to add this tire to the list. So, if you hear that my car has been set on fire for insurance purposes, please go along with it. Please. By accident, of course. Right. <laughs> Not set on fire per yeah. se. Caught fire. Acts, yeah. acts of God happen all the time. There's a lightning strike, and you know, just shit happens. Miracles happen. Yeah, I mean, you know. Oh shit. Ow. Oh, we got ads. Oh. We shall do a learn. Oh, was her battery dead too? Yeah. Is that a um, spring assist? Yeah. Nice. What is it? Spring assist, right? Try to open it. Try to open it. Got a button? Let me see if I can figure it out first. Okay. So, push button. No, the push button does it. Okay, I just didn't push it hard enough? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So, see, I saw that it moved, I just couldn't tell how much it moved. Okay, so it's like a double locking. Built in safety. Neat. To the, to the, yeah. Huh. Oh, sweet. Did you, uh, did you? I did. Awesome. And uh, I turned it back on. Hey, Emerus, uh, can you talk to him? Nice. Yeah, yeah, sure can. Yes, you're good. Um, you're good. Okay. Awesome. See, I really like my favorite knife ever. Was like this. Ger Have you ever seen a Gerber Gator? I love Gerbers. Yeah. Dude, like the gate. The Gator was like perfectly weighted. Like I could just like flick yes. it out. Like yeah. no, doesn't didn't need a spring assist. Just like. Phew. That was my Boy Scout knife. Growing yep. up. Yep. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um. Hagen, would you do me a favor? Would you take a picture? Of ooh, we actually have a horse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you take a picture of the map and send it to the Discord so she can see it? Uh, hey there. Hagen yes. is going to send a picture of the map to you on Discord. Okay. Who wants to recap for hey there, catch her up real quick of what you guys are doing? Um. So so there were three paths, um, one down the left, one down the right, and one down the middle. Uh, I believe the we chose the right path, which was a the the graveyard. Um, okay. The valley down the middle went straight at the horde of zombies and other undead, uh, and the mountain to the left was treacherous to say the least. Um, if we go. Uh, I flew up real high with Hagen, and we almost fell out of the sky. Well, we did fall out of the sky. Hagen's boots just saved us. Um, so magic is is already uh, finicky at best here. Um, so oh great. Yeah. So so that's good warning. Basically it. <clears throat> so you guys are going through this graveyard now, down towards trying to get to the tower. Yeah. Uh, the graveyard is um, hilly. Uh, so those black areas, it's not that they're intraversible, but there's either trees and this sort of stuff. Um, I did not draw all of the monuments and the broken down tombstones and such. It's littered with them. Um, some of which are very tall, like 20, 30 feet broken into pieces okay. like they're just legs are sitting there <clears throat> so if you go into the black off the paths you can do that but it is difficult difficult terrain and some places are okay. intraversible uh, okay. okay the blue parts are buildings uh the circles are monuments 
So uh, they might be mausoleums in, in, in and of mausoleums in and of themselves, but they're usually like a okay. statue. Uh, potentially, you can go inside. Um, the square ones or the rectangular ones are big mausoleums. The square oh. ones are the rectangular what? I'm sorry. The the boxy ones are mausoleums. Yeah. The circular okay. ones are statues Monument. okay. and monuments, but you can probably enter them as well if they're okay. big enough. <clears throat> um, it's dark in here. The mist is heavy, thick. Can't see the sky, of course. It's it's all overcast looking. It's cold. Okay. Uh, the ground crunches beneath your feet. <clears throat> It's this sort of black, rocky road-looking dirt. Uh, and the path itself are these massive pavers. Looks like uh, maybe granite. Here and gotcha. there, especially in the black areas, you see uh, movement within the mist. Uh, some bluish eyes looking at you. And then looking away, uh, the restless undead, specters and wraiths and all manner of things. Uh, the mausoleums are, well, they're mausoleums, so they're they're decorated very uh, gothic, uh, gargoyles, monsters and such, and uh, heroes and villains. What well, guys? Plane is to the river or the bridge. <clears throat> you make it all the way over here. Okay. To the compass. Okay. You guys walk for a while <clears throat> before you get to this part through the graveyard. Uh, there's something listless with the undead. They don't get too close. But when they see you, it doesn't seem that they're happy to see you. Um, imagine extreme ADHD as they see you and then are immediately distracted by something else. Um, but you, you, with Hagen leading, you do a pretty good job of avoiding most of them. As you enter this part of the cemetery, this winding path, uh, and it's almost like you're walking through a, a small town. Hmm. Seems like if we keep moving, <clears throat> don't pay too much attention to them. They don't really, they don't really seem to care. We'll say you've moved for about... 20 or 30 minutes at this point. But let's not push it. Yeah. Um, hey there, you, we put you on Radagast with your devils. And uh, Majoria's on there. Who else is on there? Uh, Meloel and Arlo. Yeah. And, and Nami. And Nami. Yeah. Graphic and Greg are flanking you. As that fog stuff, if you linger for more than 10 or 15 seconds, it starts to almost climb up slowly as if to grasp you <clears throat> but then discorporating as you move on right. action and is you on said, i am on the carpet with them correct correct yes okay yeah uh let's let's keep moving right we're moving yeah i would i would say move the longer we tarry, the the greater the odds of them yeah, I don't want to find us out. and inspecting. Yeah, I don't want to find out what happens if this mist actually grabs onto us. Yeah. Um, so, we keep moving to that fork in the road? Give them a narrative point for that. What? Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a narrative point for that. <laughs> nice. Who goes okay. first? Oh, I'm first. Um, assuming you two don't hop off. Nope. Uh, stopping at the corner here. This is a mausoleum. It's a mausoleum. You can see it's almost like there's a, uh, you know, it's a facsimile of, it almost looks like a farmhouse, but it's all made of stone. There's a porch. There's um, a rocking chair. It doesn't look like it's, it rocks, but maybe it does. Uh, there's a door, windows, but, you know, they're not glass. It's all stone. Um What's this? On that side, it looks like stables. Stables. <laughs> is this is this all life size? Is this? Oh yeah. Two. Okay. Um, it's scale. Okay. So until now, we've not moved through quarters this tight. Correct. Okay. 
So, uh, moving stealthily. You want us to uh, roll wizard. two? Or does your stealth roll? I rolled a 28. Okay. I don't know. 28 stealth. Um, Hagen. Could you get disadvantage since you have people on you? Uh, it's 13. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hagen moves up to uh, here. You get up to the entrance of it, uh, going quietly at first, but as maybe you're like avoiding some rocks, just the weight of, you know, Dav. Yeah. Is it Dav and Poe? Po. 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 On you, Po's kind of like rocks a little bit as, I don't know if you've ever had someone on the back of your bike, if they move, you just kind of well, move back and forth. While we're here. As uh, you can, he you hear the gravel like, but it's slight. Okay. Do so you guys jump off? Yep. Uh, well, you do. I'm going to climb down. As you climb down. I was going to say, do you jump off or do you climb down? I'll hop off. Okay. As you do, just like going into the snow, the mist rises up and then, like it's heavy, falls back down rather quickly. What are the rest of you doing while they scoot up? I'll sort of slowly fall behind them. Not that, not as quickly as they're going, though. Okay. Uh, roll stealth. Uh, with disadvantage. Since you have a Majoria on your on your back. Little D. Little D. Little D. Oops. I guess I'll drink that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. No. As Little D uh, goes, shh. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're breathing like a dwarf. <laughs> um, what is stealth? Is that a, is that a, um, um, I think that's about what dex. you roll. No, I mean like no, no, no. What I'm saying is, it's part what? of your dex. dexterity. It's dexterity. Okay. Dex. So, twelve. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> you're going pretty well. Uh, you hear <laughs> Sarah's footsteps, but she's actually rather quiet. Yeah, as you guys get up to this thing, the rest of you hanging out, your horse. You just chilling back there with the rest of the NPCs? Is there a door on this thing? Yeah, there is. Do we... Hey there, are you going to move up on are... the carpet or are you hanging back? Yeah, I, I'm i going to move up and just kind of almost shadow Hagen, just in case something tries to grab him out of the mist, I kind of want to be almost flanking him, like watching his six. Okay. Yep. That's where you are. Yeah, they have to move past Sarah. Okay. Do that. Just switch him. Yeah, just like go slightly over my head. <laughs> I guess I uh, You can use that red. I'll, I'll ruffle your hair as I pass by. Is like, good luck. Be safe. Fair. Hmm. Mirage, you stand back. You on the head too? <laughs> I'm moving up. And I'm okay. Moving. Are we curious yes. about what's inside these, or we just want to yeah. get out? Hagen, you're at the porch. You see the door and all that stuff, and the rocking chair. Normally, I'm not opposed to stealing from the dead, but it's different when the dead are literally walking around their homes. <laughs> we just keep moving. I'm down either way. Yep. As so, you move up, so we keep you going. come to a T. On, the, <clears throat> on your right side... There's a row of trees uh, all hanging over, almost like uh, damsels, like uh, hanging like this. And their branches are, are um, hanging into the path. Uh, you could move around in there, but it's dark. Uh, if this was not the Deadlands, you would expect to see maybe like in a bog or in a swamp uh, lightning bugs. But of course, none of that is here. It looks like a dead end. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like a dead end. There's a vestibule down there. Uh, it's sort of cloaked in darkness. It looks like a figure is hunched over something. Uh, large, like a trunk. I don't know if that's a statue or that's a living thing. I think it'll move to this intersection. Do you want me to? Do you want me to roll stealth again, or yeah. just go off that? One? <clears throat> um, just still at disadvantage. Uh, no. Uh, Twenty-seven. As uh, Hagen, you move like a shadow. 
very similar to the raids, but quickly. Finding just, large rocks to. Just a yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Um, are you guys keeping up with him, or are you gonna let him go out ahead? I'm keeping up with him, and my stealth is a twenty-six. Okay. Poe um, is right there with you. I too am going with a uh, nineteen. Yep. I as be okay. Dav rolls that way as well. Uh, hey there, are you following? Or are you letting them go out to scout? Uh, I'm following, but keeping that same like conceivable distance between. Like I'm trying to. Like 10, 15 feet, watch. or like 30. I'm thinking like like 15 nice. feet. I don't want to lose them in the fog or the awesome. mist. <clears throat> yep. Cool. Uh, go ahead and roll stealth. Okay. If he gets up to my nipples, maybe I'll call climb back up on your shoulder. Was well, um. Param the move. <clears throat> they will move up slowly behind. She'll stay there. Right <clears throat> Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Mm-hmm. Are you yeah. gonna hold up the entrance there? Yeah. As you all see, uh, the path diverges to the left. It's a very narrow path. Maybe even the kind of path that's not intentional. Uh, <clears throat> broken down uh, statues, and it's like when someone walks through the grass too much. Hmm. <clears throat> And in fact, there's a place where you have to squeeze if you were to go through it um, around a building that's maybe been shifted. Uh, part of it's up there, part of it's down there, and the broken statues. Through it, you see a rotund um, and like a big roundabout with a circular monument, almost like a mini coliseum. Uh, around it are these massive statues towering 50, 60 feet tall. They look like uh, Greek heroes, sword, shield, uh, and one of them particular, as you all are up there, the face seems familiar. Uh, there are no birds or anything here, but through the mist, you, as it sort of washes by, you see this bearded warrior uh, holding a mighty spear and a shield and a helm. Is it Gilgamesh? As you turn and look, at the statue, and then back at Hagen's helmet, and then back at the statue, it indeed looks like Gilgamesh. Looks better on you. Okay. Uh, that's down that one way to the. Wait, we forgot Bryce. Uh, straight away, he'll stay in the back. No, we don't figure. I was like, we don't <laughs> figure Bryce. Straight away, uh, you know the. The path, <laughs> the path is crooked as it goes to another T, oh, several feet away. Um. You can see uh, a couple mausoleums out ahead of you, as indicated. Um, what would Bryce be? He'll be in the back. <clears throat> yeah, tell me high or low. Hi. Where do you want him to be? Uh, okay, it is, from what Hagen knows about Bryce, is he good in a fight? Yeah. Okay. Is he actually good at being sneaky? Yes. Okay, then he can stay with us. Yeah. Uh, he so you and so you know he is essentially a fighter, but he's spec for roguey type yeah, things. A rogue fighter, but I figure, but... So I'm eventually gonna move up. I'm not gonna like. You just let us know when. I'm not gonna completely lose sight of everyone. All right? Uh, are you going s- slow, fast, stealthily on your horse? I'd say uh, back to like I, the way we're paced is pretty. Strategic. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not just gonna stay there, but I'll stay. Stay with the uh, back view, and I don't know how stealthily I can move. Not very. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm a horse. You're a war horse. You can yeah. minimize it and walk. I mean, I, yeah, you are very good you're riding. Very horses. stealthy without a horse, though. Put cloth on his hooves. Yeah, but I'm still next to a horse. You guys hear it? Horse. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> you can minimize the horse. Oh yeah. It's a statue, normally. I whisper to you, hey, can I turn the, can I uh, make this thing go back? Yeah, absolutely. What do I got to say? You don't say anything, you just, you just pat it and think. Got it. Roll animal handling. <laughs> 24. As you're like, <laughs> and you're holding... Yeah, you, you catch uh, the horse statue. Uh, the horse statue is moved. It's like this now. 
<laughs> thing hates you. <laughs> you got that horse up for nothing. Well, you got us. You got yeah. us here. Do you? Uh, I can easily squeeze through that. Should I go scout out that area? Uh, no, I mean, from what I recall, if we go this way, straight ahead, it was around, but kind of sneaky, sneaky like, and it'll get us around to the other side. Uh, I, I, we don't have to go that way. I mean, if you want to poke around. But do we really want to get stuck in a place like this? I mean, look at those statues. Well, it is Gilgamesh. See, it is. it is Gilgamesh. Maybe there's something over there we could use. Are we still connected by the telepathic thing? No. Oh. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'll so, go with them. If, I know, I miss it too. Yeah, why don't you go if you want? You don't go alone. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I'll go with you. Some tiny. Megan will um, post up there and just <clears throat> kind of uh, keep on watch, both oh. visually and audibly. It's SWAT, you're like. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to roll anything for that? Oh, yeah. Perception. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you're. Uh... He says, absolutely. Uh, hey there, uh, what are you going to do? Um, can I roll to recognize the, did we, did we say that it is Gilgamesh because it's cutting out a little bit, or yeah. is it somebody else? It, it's Gilgamesh. It is Gilgamesh, okay. And is he, is it just his figure alone, or is it surrounded by it's other? It's surrounded by other heroes, and it looks like villains. And, and they're like 50 well. feet tall. Yeah. Um, can I roll to, rec uh, to search any of the others, like, in to recognize them? To recognize them from this distance? Yeah. <clears throat> um, to search them, you have to go up there. Yeah, not to, like, physically search them, but as in, like, to search my memory for, do oh, I know, yeah. like, do I, have I seen them in a tapestry and yeah. castle to your men or read about them or something like that? Yeah, mm. go ahead and uh, roll. We'll say... We'll say investigation. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be a fifteen. Yeah, give me one second. Okay. Hater, would you prefer to have a view of the board instead of us? Because I can't necessarily switch back and forth for you, but but I can give you. I can probably just give you the the board. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to try it. I, I'm not opposed to, to seeing how that goes, because seeing where our figures are in relation to stuff might be okay. useful for my brain. Yeah. All right, let me let me think for a second. <clears throat> well, yeah, no worries. Yeah, I'm not in any yeah, rush. Same. I just yep. appreciate you offering. Uh, <clears throat> as, hey there, you're sitting there racking your brain looking at those <clears throat> those statues <clears throat> through the through the mist at distance it's a little bit difficult to see their features um it looks like there's five uh on this rotund <clears throat> gilgamesh is the one that's f uh forward facing you all next to him you see it looks like a woman warrior uh perhaps an elf uh, you've seen lots of Eladrin and such at this point and mm -hmm. going through Castle Tiramen you realize that this warrior is, a, is an Eladrin is not Eladrin? Uh, is not an Eladrin okay, gotcha you realize it is a Lachey warrior mm -hmm. and you do recognize her you've seen her before but she was a vampire Her name is Khalif. Oh, oh, no. Okay, that's cool. On the opposite side, you see someone that looks like it could be her sibling, but it's a male, uh, and you've you've never seen that person. However, <laughs> you do note that there are glyphs written. You can't quite see them because you're too far away and there's mist. Mm -hmm. uh, 
from from what you remember in the tapestries, it is probably the sign or the rune of their house. As you guys start crawling through and squeezing through, easily being of small stature, uh, this unintended path, uh, you were doing perception. perception. <clears throat> Where are you looking? Uh, Hagen's here, and he's just trying to keep his... He's trying to keep watch or something from around the corners, or... What'd you roll? 24. Specifically kind of down the path or behind us. You see this thing... Yeah, that thing. Stand up. Uh, Bryce. You're starting to... The locals are starting to stir. Um... Hagen will tap his helmet and activate the uh, telepathy feature. You all feel uh, it's almost like a, a, a little bit of dysphoria for just a moment, like a white static in your brains as you hear the little Star Trek thing. In Hagen's right. voice. Tap, tap. Is this thing on? Yeah. Um, I got gotcha. you. The big guy in the back is stirring. The one that was the other down the dead end. Oh. Be oh. Quick. Yeah. Isn't every end a dead end here? Oh. Hmm. 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 Yes. Let's do a, a pause real quick. Uh, do you want to try to get that that uh, deal? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to try to get uh, Hather a camera on the thingamajig. Is that why they call it a ghost town? Technical break. Yeah. Gonna put on a camera. Do, do, do. We have me the blue marker, please. Um, so you're saying that, like, there's a person here. Yep. Statue here. And there are five of them all around. Here, here, here. Yep. Here, and this one's Gilgamesh. Yep. Facing this way. Yep. Okay. And then to the right of him is Khalif. This Khalif. Khalif. And then to the Gilg. Yeah, and to that side is Gilg. something else. Okay. I'm I'm trying to remember three years ago to remember <laughs> if we found out what Khalif's brother's name was, which I think we because uh, Seaman and I didn't talk to Khalif. We talked to her cousin, mm -hmm. her female yeah. cousin, but I cannot remember what that name was because oh wait a second. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. I'm I'm going through my old notes right now trying to find it. That would be. <laughs> Okay. Ha -ha. Tripod in it. The old tripod. This be a wild thing. Just every beer fest that there is. <laughs> yeah, just grab onto that pole. Yeah. Neat. Hey there, can you see the uh, map? Um. Oh, interesting. Uh. Yes. Is that better? Uh-huh. <laughs> It's a little, like, it's almost like the light is just bright enough that it's... Too bright. Do we turn in the bright? Um, turn in, like, disguising the black, but I, I've got a general sense of oh, I see where what you things mean. are. Okay. Hold on. Let me do it over here. Magic. Yeah, it's a little no, too bright. No, that was before... If you, yeah. there you go. 
Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, oh, nice, too. yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Thank you. Closer. Yeah, that's good. That should be fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. Man, I found the quickling's name, but I haven't found the other uh, vampire lady. That was before this yeah, book. Was way before, before I even had this book. That was uh when we were still at Eric's house. Yeah, because that was. That's yeah, great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, perfection. Thank better? you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And we're just turning the light a little. Oh, it's probably this light that's actually. This one? There we go. Yeah, it's all right. If she's good with it, then it's good. So, uh, calling. That was before Poe disappeared before he ri rode into the Red Keep invisible. Or yeah. no, in disguise, and then magically teleported to the Baraduke. So, <laughs> because I skipped a few months for haunt season. <laughs> All right. Oh, excuse me. So, we're back. Back. You noticed that, uh, Hagen, uh, that being stand up uh, seems rather tall maybe a little bit taller than you as it starts moving slowly direction. that direction through uh, the canopy Hagen uh, moves Bryce or the gets, branches let's gets just him say. behind that, what Hagen, what oh. down that way keep an edge until it comes ah shit Hagen draws his shield and draws that hammer and just kind of Watches. Yep. Uh, using the uh, telepathy, I reach out to um, uh, RLL. Mm -hmm. Hey, RLL. Oh, where? What, what, what was that? Uh, yeah. Undead. Uh, oh, that's RLL, so it's Melo. Uh, what? 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 Yes? These undead things, well, uh, this hammer I've got, it. it, 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 it it freezes things when I hit it. Oh, it does? Will it hurt them? I mean, a hammer hurts a lot of things. No, I mean like the coldness. It, it seems to hurt things more. Hmm. Certain undead, of course. Okay. I suppose it depends. Might as well try it. Yeah. Although, do you think we need to fight? I uh, Only if we have to. I just want to know if I'm wasting my energy or not. As you two squeeze through pop out into this roundabout thing, uh, towering high above you, 50, 60 feet, these statues. Uh, Gilgamesh looks like he is one of the tallest ones. Um, behind them, this massive pillar of some sort. Uh, it has, uh, it's all ornate with designs. Um, nothing is clean here. It's all sort of wet with the fog. Uh, there's a mildew, like blackened in the cracks and everything. And of course, you know, like rain. Think of, uh, uh, not Minas Tirith. Uh, what's across from it? Um, Oskiliath. Yeah, Oskiliath. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start. Let's, damn, let's be quick. Yep. I'm going to go around the other side. Are you investigating? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm going through, because I know that one's Gilgamesh. So I'm going to go over towards the next statue, yep. which... Okay. And you're rolling investigation. And I'm going the opposite direction. Okay, uh, investigation will take some time as you guys move through. Marad, make a perception roll with disadvantage. You're caught. <laughs> 16. With disadvantage. <clears throat> you hear, is it gravel footsteps behind you? Over the hill, something or some things are coming up behind you. Good, 
maybe 50, 60 ish feet away. You can't quite see them yet because it's down the hill and around the corner. Uh, I'll tell, uh, I'll whisper to uh, the people with me. Y'all, uh, y'all move ahead. I'm, I'm gonna stay here for now. And As then I. Param turns. Are you sure? I can fight. She has this axe you gave her. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you can fight, Param, but uh, now that you're mortal, you can also get cut. And it hurts. Uh, Majora is with you, right? Over there? Yeah. Yes. Majoria says, oh, I'll go. And she walks away from you. <laughs> That's full D. That's full D. Which one? No, Majoria is on the carpet. Oh, she is? Everyone, yeah, everyone else is on the carpet. Who is, yeah. who is that next and to Sarah Sarah and That's, yeah. that's uh, Sarah, Little D. Oh, it's Sarah. Param. Yeah, yeah, I always think Sarah is the uh, the heart. Okay. Param, I realize you yep. can fight. But Little D then goes, oh, yeah, okay. I have a question. Before, well, when you were immortal, did it Why hurt? Why do you have to keep on reminding me of that? Well, this is a very important point. Did shatter. you feel... <laughs> uh, I got there yet. Uh, <laughs> did you feel pain when you got hit? Of course. Okay. All right. Stay here. Let's, uh, let's kick some ass. And she turns with her axe, holding it out. It's... <laughs> she stands like someone who doesn't think she can get hurt. <laughs> mm -hmm. We didn't give her any armor, did we? No, no she's yep. in a shift. Yep. You know, you know, better idea. Better I don't. Idea. Have she, she's in. No, she, I don't either. She's in some underclothes. <laughs> yep. I've been about, dressed in my devils, about, so I'm unfortunately devils are good. armor for it. Uh, the devils. Speaking of, hey there. Uh, <clears throat> they're obviously cold, balled up, and next to you. They're looking around at this mist like they don't like it. I will. Uh, I'll, well, I'll, I'll use. Hold on, before you say that. Yeah. I will use the telepathic thingy to say, uh, "Company." I got some this way too. As I hey. reach out to two of you, speed this along. Hagen, you hear it sounds almost like a door, but then you realize it's not a door. It's stone grating on stone. No. no, it's out ahead of you. I tell uh, I tell Param to let's go around the corner and actually uh, hide for a second. Hide? Uh, yeah. So when they walk around the corner, we can just take care of them. That is not honorable. You're goddamn right. It's not honorable. <laughs> Roll persuasion. <laughs> I look at Hater. Hater, uh, you see Hagen motion you to bring the carpet forward. I will listen. 17. She huffs and then follows you. Uh, are you guys uh, going to put, put yourselves where you want? Are you going to where you guys are? You're leading this uh, attack uh, or this ambush maraud, so put yourself where you want to be. Um, what does Hagen do? Hagen right. leads the carpet up to this corner. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah, either there or. He tells Bryce um, to stay right there. Actually, he maybe goes, we'll yeah, go right. down the hall. He looks around with the javelin. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll go down the hall uh, and, and around the corner. Hey there, what were you saying? She just yeah, moves along. Oh, you follow? Oh, yeah, I follow uh, Hagen's uh, Sorry, well, gestures, um, and then while I'm moving forward, I will ask the devils if they sense something in the mist. Yeah, we don't like anything. Yeah, uh, It's weird. Everything's dead. <laughs> As you hear Grother go, <laughs> and cold. Uh, Sarah, so Sarah Rith will, you know, use the, the mind link to say, hey, this is pretty narrow here. I'm going to place a mine. For the you know for the uh, people coming in behind us. Who do you say that to? The the whole the whole mind link thing. Oh, don't tell me. Tell them. Yeah. That. <laughs> so so back where I was, uh, I just put like a. Do we know who uh, is coming up behind us? We got no, no. idea. Uh, and we're so gonna blow them up. Put, yeah, that put would. Put a mark where you lay your claymore. Where's the? I think we have a better shot of just moving through here quickly. I kind of agree. If you do it, you do it. I mean, she can do yeah, it. Yeah, if you yeah, do it, you do it. <laughs> uh, tell uh, Poe where you put that. The Just put it like right where I was and then put like a blue X or whatever, yeah. And whenever you're ready for me, you can right around yeah. the corner left to right. Yeah. 
you want me to roll anything? Not yet. Let me just try to uh, I'm popping around in, in real, <laughs> some real time, but also allowing them, because uh, it takes them some moments to I'm investigate. I'm just putting it on, on deck. Yeah. You know. As you guys look around, uh, you go around either side. Um, did you roll stealth? Um, I have not yet. Are you being stealthy? I think we're... Yeah. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. I mean, that's what we were trying to do before, yeah. And we haven't necessarily stopped yet. It's a 33. I rolled nat 20 on stealth. Yeah? <laughs> so you just disappear into the fog. Yeah, as you... As uh, Dav, you turn around and Poe's gone. What the fucker? <laughs> um, it's clearly and, invisible again. Uh, 21 for me. Without being invisible. Huh? 21 for me. Yeah, as Poe, you turn and look and... Where's Dav? <laughs> we both just kind of base. Uh, what'd you guys get on your investigations? 19. <laughs> That's a 7. <laughs> uh, you see some Lachey bitch. Uh, <laughs> would I, or even though I rolled a 7, I don't investigate the statue, but would I not recognize her from meeting her cousin? Were they, did they, were they similar? Are you like, to the right or the left? I went to the left. I rolled higher yeah, low. The left is where the uh, uh, Khalif is. Right, yeah. So you, yeah. Where you, so you look at her, and with a seven, huh? she looks familiar. Okay, but oh, I, I already planted, I planted it where I was. Yeah. You do see so the X, the emblazoned X on, the on her chest like the, where are you going? the rune of Where am I going? Tyrmid. I'm following you. Or following, yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Um, she does look familiar. You just can't quite get it. What'd you get? 19. As you look, you see a different rune. It looks like an X. Uh, and it's like X marks the spot emblazoned on this guy's tabard. Mm. I've, got, I've got an X over here. I message to you. Uh, well, there's a tier men over here, but she looks familiar, but I, I don't know who she is. Is it his, his sister? Uh, shit, I can't remember her name. What'd you get? Oh, what do you want from Perception. 25. It's taken, you look around, immediately you notice that there is a a something moving out of that mausoleum. You, you see its <laughs> clawed hand. It looks like a ring wraith hand. Like, like it was clubbed, like mm -hmm. a gauntlet. And you see this black energy of a wraith. Does Hagen think we have time to move past it? It's very slow. Yeah. Looking back at the carpet at you, Hader, uh, Hagen has, um, his expression has taken a very uh, serious look about it. Um, the, the natives are stirring. They're coming out of their tombs. We need to move. Follow me. Did you say that? So he can ask you to follow. I'm right behind you. Uh, he says it just. He whispers it to her. Uh, okay. As he would then try to move All as right. far as we can get. As you get in front of it, mm -hmm. you hear. Bryce will Bryce stay there. You hear a groan. To come with them. And feel a cold wind blow over you as there is an effect that happens as you move within its sight. <clears throat> or within its. It doesn't necessarily see you. It's aura. It's aura. You took a look back down to the right. There's a vestibule. Uh, you see some other figures. They look different. They look more less like wraiths and more like uh, ghosts. Sort of. Discorporated, discorporated, like lifting up and whatnot. And there is a pool of water off this way. <clears throat> In a weird way, it seems pleasant. Yeah. I'll draw it. Just a draw. I love this. I, I absolutely, I do. I mean this legitimately. I love how much work has gone into this. But I'm sad at the fact that I know that we're going to avoid most of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, because we're all. This just... is the last place we want to be stuck. Is in the middle of a graveyard, graveyard. littered with undead. Yeah, they are some of the most difficult to kill monsters in D and D. Yep. So, that's what you guys see. What are you two doing? Oh, it's a G on this one. Oh, that was who was that? I forgot Galahad. the name. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I was. We, we should go look at the should we go look at the other two he said we should hurry but yeah we need to hurry but let's do it as well <clears throat> do we need to reroll snow <clears throat> nope okay but because i know you're here you do get to see 
Bush, but... A thing moving this way. You see it lumbering, its arms almost dragging the ground like its knuckles. Uh, sinew, uh, its clothes are ripped up, its hair is just coming down like a, like a Japanese animation villain. Uh, it's all rot. It's shambling forward. As it looks up, you see this thing is enormous, even for you guys. Like, it's like 14, 15 feet tall. If it were alive, what would this being be? You can roll nature, if you've got nature. Uh, you could roll arcana, if you've got arcana. Okay. It's a 19 on arcana. So you look at this thing, you notice, are those runes on its body? Like almost like old tattoos, like uh, like a, an 80 year old sailor's tattoos in the crinkle and whatnot of its body. So you realize that's a revenant. Oh, what the fuck is that? <clears throat> it's a As it's, the make of its body is humanoid, but elongated. You've, you've seen this kind of being before, but it's, it's decrepit and, and ancient <clears throat> and undead. You're not really sure where to place it. You need a knowledge nature on that. It's a revenant. Oh, okay. Isn't that the thing that was after us? Or that was supposed to be after us? Attached to like every one of us? That's what the, the scarecrows were going to be, right? Oh, from, for... That's what the scarecrows were going to be, right? Sounds like. Um, we should probably climb the statues and be incredibly stealthy. Okay. As you hear this low, bassy... <laughs> it's not like calling out, it just sort of grumbles as it's moving forward. It doesn't seem to see you guys at all or notice you. Um, I will telepathically... Hagen, um, guys, there's a revenant in here. I don't know what that is, but it sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so... There's a whole lot going on here. There's uh, some ghosts. It looks like a, a pool. And there's some sort of black road uh, entity coming out of this tomb. This place is giving me the, the heebie-jeebies. We best get moving. Okay. So, Poe does not. Poe knows what a revenant is, but Drizzle does not. <laughs> so, no. so what you is? Would you tell him what a revenant is? Well, I mean, a revenant is is essentially an unkillable thing. Uh, you can kill it, but it comes back to life. That's really all you need to know. Well, it's okay. got a mission. Yeah, it's, it's, like a, it's, it's a vengeful. It's tied to something. It's usually a vengeful it's, entity or spirit that is it exists to seek revenge upon someone, something. It has been kind known. of kind of like a golem, but it it was sort of. But it, it has a very specific purpose, and it seeks that that purpose relentlessly. When when well, Hater um, put that bad juju on the scarecrow, right? Yeah. She had a revenant. Right. Then she, yep. Then she maybe that's fixed her it. revenant. Yeah. Well, she fixed it. Yeah. yeah. I fixed it. I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> I fixed it. It reminds the way you described it. Reminds me, of Mr. Hyde. Hmm. You're close. <laughs> uh, Hayther and yes. Hagen, you need to make charisma saves. Oh God. <clears throat> as this wraith, <clears throat> you get into its aura. As you move past the mausoleum, it's exiting. Uh. The tendril of shadow and such uh, seems to touch you. Or does it? Is 15 good enough? Yes. <clears throat> 22. Nice. Would you give me a mixer? I wink at it. Jeez. <laughs> oh, you like spooky boys. So. I like spooky boys. It's he's, your, true. he's your new goth boyfriend. <laughs> As you both take 15 necrotic damage. Oh, oh Lord. Shit. That is already no, halved. No, we broke up. 15. That is already halved. So, no. hey, so if you're uh, if you got resistance toward it, then you would right you'd have it again. Hmm. Okay. 
as you feel the breath <clears throat> escape, uh, like almost like it sucked out like a, uh, what are they called? Uh, not the doldrums. What are those guys in Harry Potter? Oh, oh the, the, the yeah. mentors. Or no, the mentors, yeah. The, the mentors. As you look, and this thing is a barrel white. Like, that's what it looks like. Uh, think of a ring wraith just uh, with a crown and... Um, so the witch king? <laughs> well, all the barrel whites have those, but yeah. yeah. It isn't the witch king. <laughs> you, you're fucked. The witch king of Angmar. Oh, shit. Leave the fuck up. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, as it hasn't seen you... Uh, who is on the carpet? It's ambiently hurting us. <laughs> um, Peter, uh, literally everyone, but, the, but, uh, <clears throat> all the NPCs except Bryce and, uh, Parent. Parent. Hip. Hey there, make, uh, a charisma save for Grothrit and Grigner. The DC is 15. Make, you want me to do not, <clears throat> not Make that. charisma yep. saves for both of them, yep. you said? Uh, who else do we have? <clears throat> uh, do do Name? Yeah, I'm doing that now. And then we've got Melwell. I'll you roll Melwells, but I don't know what her stats. You said 15, you said? Yeah. <laughs> just straight charisma? Yeah, she has a very high charisma. What are, well, she's got a plus three. What are her, uh, does she, did they, she's a plus four. Did they get expertise? Proficiency? Yeah. That's under... Yeah, because she she's basically a character. So she gets a plus four to that? Oh, actually, no, she gets a plus... Um, it's a plus three, it's but a plus is, three. She, is she proficient in charisma? Uh, let me look. Wisdom. Yeah, I think it is wisdom. Yep, it is crystal. So she gets a plus six. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, seventeen. She passes. Yep. Uh, with Melo. Melo has a three on the die. Three. I mean, I I barely passed. I don't have any pluses to charisma, though. That's by far my weakest stab. Jesus. Melo has a plus nine. So she got a 12? Yeah. As she... Ah! You... Hey there, you see, and Hagen, you see Melo... Uh, just kind of like go white and uh, get really sleepy. Uh, how did Grig Grigner and Grothrit do? Um, I don't have their their bonuses. Well, I, I see a... I have their dex <coughs> bonus. They probably... They probably need a 10. A 9. We'll give them a... They need a 9 up. They hit a 15. They both... They both rolled 11s. Yep. Okay, they will make it. <clears throat> they both take 15 necrotic damage. Uh, okay, got it. I rolled Majoria, so yep. she's on there. She got an 18 on the die. Yeah, she's... You want to roll armor? Mm. She's uh, on the carpet. So Name takes it as well, I assume. Yep. She Arlo rolled an 11 on the die. Huh? Arlo rolled an 11 on the die. Yeah, she definitely did. <clears throat> I think that got everybody on the carpet. Uh, give me a second, Hater. Okay. Oh, Little D. Little D, yeah. Do one of you want to roll for Little D? Wait, Little D got on the carpet? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I will roll D20. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they take, they take all of it. They take 15. Did you say oh. Arlo? So they take all 15 damage, is that what yeah, you said? Yeah, bo both of them take 15. Yeah, if you pass it, okay. you still take the damage. Yeah, gotcha, mm. gotcha. And then Name passed. All right. <clears throat> okay. As this energy um, almost distorts sound, body, a little D. <laughs> uh, it gets darker. And you find yourself, even though you've passed, slowing down, getting tired as you... Obviously, you're going to continue moving out of this aura. Uh, go ahead and move yourself. Uh, so this is... We're in rounds at this point. Everybody, roll initiative. I don't want to see it. I know I can hit this guy, and that feels good. Uh, 22. <laughs> 
17. 20. 16. Hater. 25. 25. Um. Nice. Nice roll. Well, we fall. They all fall. Oh, yeah. Us. Um, yeah, they follow us. Yeah. <laughs> Little Gotham said, He's Batman. <laughs> Whenever Poe disappeared, yeah. Right. <laughs> we were just okay, having a conversation, just, and then all of a sudden okay. he's gone. Is that 17? I hate it. <laughs> okay. How are we doing? How many? We got Wraith. Great boy. Revenant. We've got um, the is. other one that we haven't figured uh, out what it is. We we'll call him Statue because he looks like a statue. Goes on, <clears throat> so the Wraith goes on 17. Wraith goes on 17. The uh, Revenant goes on uh, 14. 14. Because it has a minus to its dex. Uh... The goons, we'll call them, because I don't want you to know what they are. <laughs> okay. Go on 10. Goons. Yep. On 10? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> and the other undead thing goes on 14. 14. Okay. <laughs> so Bryce, I'll have go with Name yep. after him. Yep. Okay. So your NPCs on the carpet are just going to chill out on the carpet. Um... Your NPCs are going to do what you tell them to do. Right. So unless you have them do something, they don't. They won't get a turn. Okay. All right. Who's at the top? So the top is Hater. Hater. What do you do? <clears throat> How close am I to this thing? I would, Very close. I would suggest moving past it. But... Within ten feet. It's suggest, coming. Suggest moving past the wraith. Yeah, we don't. I don't think we need to try to fight it. It doesn't seem like it's seen you. You've just entered its aura. It is exiting a mausoleum, very slowly oh, opening the door. And this okay. is the thing that yes. you are at. Oh yeah. So, is there anything currently threatening us, or are we just trying to? Is the goal to to be quiet and sneaky through here? Yeah, Hagen, damage. Hagen had said to you, uh, let's just try to move through as quickly and quietly as possible and just get to the end. Because we're, we're kind of okay. like in a bad neighborhood and we're trying to break into somebody's car. So okay. everybody's coming out in the front porch to see what's going on and if we stick around, we're going to get shot. <laughs> okay. So, I, will, I will hold my action. Well, I'll, can I hold my action but use my movement? Is that a thing? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I would just okay. keep right. the rug moving. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on moving on Radagast. Um, How far do you I'll go? Hold my action for. Um, uh, I I will spring into action for any damage that's not passive damage. How far do you go? Um, I'll do. I'll do my full movement, not Rad's, because I don't want to leave people behind. So I'll do forty. Okay. As you round the corner, you see <clears throat> a yet another corner. Uh, Still being sneaky. In that that roundabout, uh, or that round circle there, is another monument. Yeah, this, to the right. Yeah. This looks like okay. uh, a beautiful woman at one time with very long hair that look like snakes. Mm. Does it remind me of the woman I saw in the mirror in the tunnel? It does at first. <coughs> However, make a intelligence roll or insight. Okay. See if you remember you're being racist. Yeah, I think I am being racist. Actually, I, I said it. I was like, oof. <laughs> Not all gorgons are the same, Casey. Jeez. Right. You said insight. Yeah, or intelligence. Oh my goodness. That's going to be a super solid nine. So solid. It reminds you of the Gorgon you saw, but actually, as you look at the face, it's not her. Okay. Well. With a nine, 
you remember a, a deep sadness on that woman's face. <coughs> As with a nine, you realize it reminds you of Khalif's face. This snake-haired lady reminds me of Khalif's face? Yep. The statue okay. you just saw. Okay. <laughs> but Khalif is a vampire, right? As far as you knew, until maybe something worse happened to her. Um, oh, no. Because <laughs> some party didn't actually do what they said they were going to do. It, oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's not. Because we didn't give the air. It's not Nefertiti. Oh, sorry. Ooh, we can fix this. We can fix this. Nope. Oh, no. How, how fresh does the statue look? How old? Very old. Oh my god, how long. So okay. Ooh. Ooh Alright, well vampire. I will uh, pass this information along very quietly if it is safe to do so when people start to join me around the bend. Well we have a telepathic bond. We do? Yeah, I activated it. Oh you did activate it, okay. Um I hate this. That's more or less how we've all been communicating. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I thought we were just whispering. You and uh, I were, but the rest right. of the party. Hey, there's moved up guest. Okay. Uh, do you want G&G to do anything, Hater? Um, no, I just want okay. them with me until... Yep. Unless the bitter we, end. We start getting you to move up? Yep, as you do. I will have passed this along to, to Hagen. Hagen, uh, as you move first. past the Gorgon statue. Oh, no! Make a wisdom save. <laughs> As Hather, you see its hair alight. Your pants getting tight. Turn from stone to snakes. Oh, God. Oh. And a blast. As its eyes open. And you see snake eyes that are uh, bright yellow. Woof. Uh, dirty 20. Does that do it, or do I need to add to that? We'll find out real quick. <laughs> She's tough. Uh-oh. Post rifling through papers. <laughs> it does. As you feel for a moment, your heart and lungs, like, not move with you. Like, uh, mm. like, is it a heart attack? As you look up and see it, immediately shield your eyes. Because, you know... You got survival out for days. Sure. Uh, your joints, your arthritis, your any 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 cavities, just start calcifying. As you know, like you know, your skin's like sloughing off and stuff like that. It doesn't feel good. Huh? Uh, but you don't turn to stone. Right. Oh. As you see this, uh, its gaze is over. Does it look like it fully animated? No, just the head. Okay. Ah! Is it versatile? Versta. Tear me. Can I continue to move? Yes. Well, then I actually move out of the range. Yep, uh, as you do. It turns back into stone. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as I move around the corner, what is this? <laughs> you see <laughs> something you haven't seen before. Because I can move straight up to here, so I want to know yep. what it is before I do. As you get around the corner, you're like, "Oh God!" <gasps> As you see what I described for them, another reverent, revenant. As it looks up, um. So I like the idea that as I'll give you stealth. Moving through the field of vision of the Medusa, he turns. And shield his eyes, uh, kind of facing the rug. Yeah. He's like, "Don't look at it!" And as he stumbles backwards, <laughs> he turns around. Oh, oh shit! As you see this, <laughs> uh, I'll give you stealth at disadvantage. <laughs> um, because maybe it just looks at the Medusa. Eleven. It looks at you. <laughs> as you see its eyes flash in blue light, which you've recognized, perhaps that. Blue-eyed undead are usually intelligent. Yeah. 
It points. Like rocks falling out of its teeth. Oh, big guy, we're friends. Uh, roll nature. <laughs> Please do well. <laughs> Eight. Damn it. It looks like a giant. Yeah. As you notice, it has like this white hair that comes down and kind of bluish skin. Looks like a frost giant. Hagen stops. That's right been emaciated. Here. Uh, what is down that way? A big ass mausoleum. Okay, what's this? Another ma mausoleum, a small one. What is in here? Brambles and shit. <clears throat> Brambles, trees, uh, loads of. Uh, think of like Norlean style cemetery, just uh, tombstone, 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 okay. tombstone. You can go through it; it's just difficult terrain, and then some of it's impassable. Uh, Hagen would stop right there and just take a defensive stance with the shield. Uh, the big mausoleum has two doors. All of it looks like a facsimile, but you could potentially get inside. Uh, he stays right there. Okay. Takes a defensive stance. Um, and using telepathy. There's a, a, a statue of a snake lady. Do, don't look at it. Next. Uh, so, Name, you want to stay on the carpet? I'm going to go first. Do you want Bryce to do anything? Uh, Name will stay on the carpet. Uh, Bryce has been instructed to stay here until they move and to move with them. Okay. So, so he's hold, holding his action. He'll hold with them until. Hagen! They're moving! You hear him yell. <laughs> yeah. Hagen! You, we can use telepathy, you dumb bastard! Stop. What? Just think it! Telepa! <laughs> uh, telepa what? Telepa! You can hear me inside your head! As he's like doing both. Ah, I hear it! You know what? While we're in here alone, you should brush your damn teeth! Your rat stinks! <laughs> so, just out of curiosity, since that was all telepathy and stuff, am I hearing it as well? Since we yeah. got the. Yeah. Yeah. Group chat. Group chat. So Next. first of was Khalif's sister. Found the, found the note. Found All right, the you note. get a nerd point. <laughs> uh, um, Marad. Uh, Marad, you can see these two things starting to come over the hill. Uh, they are that far away. Over there, they're behind Poe's beer. They're the two gold <clears throat> things. What about that other thing in front of me? Which one? That one? Yeah. Uh, that. So there are these overhanging trees. You see this dark shape that's muscled, hair coming down as it's moving through the trees, uh, elongated fingers and such, uh, and sort of moaning and shuffling this way. <clears throat> I look to uh, <coughs> you're with us, right? Yeah. You got another one? Uh, uh, no, hmm. I don't. Sorry. That's fine. What do you do? I motion to the, I motion to them uh, fall back. Uh, fall back in stealth, and I uh, walk back. <laughs> Saunter back to where? Well, I I will hold until they actually. Walk okay. back as well, but okay. I tell them, hey, walk back with me, but I'll wait. You do. All right, next. Okay. Uh, what is the Wraith's dex? The Wraith? Yeah. Uh, what did it roll? It's 17. 17. It's a plus four. Plus four? Yeah. Okay. So then that then I am next. Or wait, do you want Majority to do anything? She's on the carpet. Just stay on the nope, carpet. Nope, she doesn't. Okay. So... Um, I am going to climb this statue in front and get behind it. Uh, I had rolled acrobatics for climbing, and it was a 19, and I rolled stealth at a 23 to climb the statue and hide, like okay. I've been known to do. <laughs> As you get up on that fourth statue, uh, the statue... Do you, do you take a look at it? I, I'm, I'm. You're just climbing it. Well, it's yeah. got robes and such, um, and like a like a staff. It seems like a wizard. You're not really looking at his face as you yeah. climb up and like get in the crook of its neck <clears throat> and uh, where its shoulder is. Yeah, and so I'm just. Yep. Like, <laughs> like I did on the statue that I found a eyeball no, in. You you are not invisible, correct? No, I'm not invisible. I. Uh, I kind of said it doesn't work here. Well, I was. Uh, I it have it. 
He was told that it doesn't make him invisible, but it makes him hard to see. It's, oh. It's essentially like a blur. I was told mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Yeah, well, you weren't you weren't here for it, but... <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can turn invisible, but... Because it, uh... you guys are kind of... You're, you're not in the ethereal plane, right. but you're near it. Yeah, right. it just makes you kind so of blurry. I was like, it makes me... Makes you hazy. Blurry. Me... I thought that being here with all the undead, I was afraid to try it. Sure, that's fair. And so, that's fair. Um, just considering that when don't I, do what I say. Well, I mean, considering that the other thing happens, like I've had ghosts come after me. You have. So I was, well, I was afraid to try. Sort of showed us that ghost in cutscene. We don't know it's here. But it's mm. It is. The yeah. players know. But the yeah, he's here. <laughs> all right. He's very so, much here. That's me and Melalel. Uh, we'll stay on the carpet. Uh, so then it's Sav's turn. You hear um, Melalel go, Oh, jeez, nine hells, don't look at the statue. Uh, whose turn? Dab. Um, I go around to the one that's next to him. Okay. Um, and I this will one. climb it as okay. well. Um, you so your athletics? Athletics. <clears throat> um, go... Um, athletics. Uh, so eighteen on that. Uh, yep, as you <laughs> climb up, uh, again, do you do you look at this statue? Or? I mean, I'm trying to. I'm pretty strong, so I feel confident in climbing. So yeah, I'm I'm trying to pick up details. Uh, you look at its face. It is a modron of some sort. Um, it's holding a uh some kind of electroshock staff. Think General Grievous, like uh, his guard got things. Um, holding the staff. Uh, it's clearly mechanical and blocky, but its face is beautiful. And it's wearing this uh, crown that has eight jewels on it. But the jewels are all stone. Uh, actually, tell me how you look. Hi. Oh, they're real jewels. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, if you want to do forbidden lore, <laughs> then you could do that if you want to. I don't think I took proficiency in forbidden. Oh lore. well, you can't do it then. Yeah. I mean, you can, but you automatically lose sanity for it. <laughs> I don't need to do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, po, I message. Um, there's some jewels up on this one. I, again, we probably don't want to steal while they're right here. Okay. But <laughs> risk it yourself. <laughs> uh, I will, I'll hang out up there. I'm going to continue climbing all the way up to the crown, though. You do. <clears throat> there are eight jewels. Okay. Uh, all Roy G. Biv. Are there seven in Roy G. Biv? Let me, would you make another one to be black? That's seven, yeah. Okay. Last one's black? Yeah. Okay. Roy G. Biv. <laughs> Roy G. Biv. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? It's Param, so I'm assuming she Yeah, Param be. looks at you, Maraud. Uh, I'll be right behind you. As she goes behind you. Uh, to where you, you asked her to be. Okay. Uh, you had held your action. Um... Do you go now, or are you waiting on Sarath? I'm waiting on Sarath. Okay. Okay, so it's the Wraiths. Imagine Bryce looked down at you all. What are you waiting on? Let's go. That's Bryce? No, Bryce is Bryce, the heart. The heart. No, Bryce. The Wraith comes up. Oh, man. Haunt. Oh, they take a long time. I thought it was. Yep. He's the only Wraith. Right now. <laughs> yeah, that we know of. <laughs> uh, the Wraiths are really cool. Let me show you a picture. Isn't it a car and a guy with a motorcycle helmet? Yeah. They look like this. Mm. They look like they're alive. Yeah. And that's essentially what they are. Uh, it is obviously not this race because you guys were trying for this very <laughs> like a biatch. It flies out. 
Okay. Uh, hey there. Make a uh, sneaky sneaky roll with disadvantage. I would love to. <laughs> oh, let's see. 21. <clears throat> The wraith moves out with incredible speed. At first, it, the door slowly opens, and then it—it's almost like it's almost like the mausoleum farts out the wraith <laughs> as it pops out and looks directly at you, unless you drop hero points or something. You got any hero points? Um, let's. You know, I'll drop a hero point. The disco tech starts. Who's AJ Williams? That's a new one. That's my brother. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> the twenty-seven. <laughs> yeah, it's better. It's much better. Yeah, I thought twenty-one mm. was right. pretty good, but. Yeah, well, I got a twenty-two. Pretty good. <laughs> Oh, as, so close. That's as pretty good. It's not good enough. The disco almost starts as the wraith turns around. Uh, and you guys go around the corner just in time. <coughs> All right, tell me high or low. It's either going to come your way or the other way. Oh. Um, high. Hagen, would you roll that? Hmm. Five. Anyone want to drop something to make it go the other way? I mean, we've got players the other way, too. Right, but it'll yeah. make another higher low to see which way it goes. It's up to you. Man. I mean, I'm at peace. All right. Do what you gotta do. Go, 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 go. At 60 it feet. It's kind of nerve wracking to not see you all, not gonna lie. At 60 <laughs> feet, it whips around the corner, sees you, and howls. But in the howl, almost like when you, like, uh, Play like a Beatles album backwards. You hear voices, <laughs> demonic, undead voices, as it raises both arms and claws, and like a ghost, rushes past <laughs> and through you all. Oh shit! It slimes you. You're <laughs> so close. <laughs> As it busts out and sees you, Hagen. I have my back to it. Indeed, you hear a howl as you oh. turn and see a wraith. Oh, wait. Uh, will you roll me a d10, a d10, a d10? Yep. Uh, six. Four, six, ten, two. Hey there. Yes. You and everyone on the carpet, including Radagast, take. Was that 12? No. 12 force damage. Mm. As it passes through you. Moving you, your, your, your insides in different directions inside your body. Gives you a nice little jostle. As it sees you, Hagen, it uses the rest of its movement to try to slime you. You said 12 force damage? Yep. Okay. Is it slime that thing too? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, this thing's hateful, motherfucker. <laughs> well, at least we're all you know, on the same yeah. position. Equally slimed. Yeah. Is that an initial or AC to do that, or is it just pass through us? It's like a touch attack? Yeah, well, it's one of its legendary actions. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> it can't do that every round. Uh, other times it has to. Uh... That's fine. I don't need to explain <coughs> Other times it has to buy you dinner first. Yeah, I just. Other times you get a uh, deck safe. When it's not a legendary. All right. Uh, we'll do 12 force for you as well. Sorry about the music. I had it. I thought I had it. It's just not right there. We're not doing sauce packets. We're not doing sauce packets. We're doing born sinister. 
as this wraith moves past, it goes through the undead as well. All right, next. Okay, next is Sarah. Uh, I just move as far down the path as I can get. All right, move Sarah as she jogs down the path. You hear the howling of a wraith. Uh, chills the bones. Back scratch. Uh, so let's see what is that's five. I would rather do this for you than watch you do this. <laughs> this is fun though. Param param moves with you. Twenty. Uh, as does Marad. Yes. Twenty-five. Thirty. I hate, Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> so I hate everything about this. Marad. You go as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then Bryce would also. Yep. <coughs> Bryce does as well. As you guys start hauling ass, you hear. All around you, the sound of grating <laughs> stone oh, upon no. stone. <gasps> this, get off my lawn! Do you want to double move? I'm fighting WWE not yet. You can transfer around my, my tulips. Well, I mean, are you, going Next. To, are you holding an action action? Because if you're not holding an action action, you might as well double move. What do you do? You moved. Ah, oh, <laughs> fine. I'll double move. That makes sense. I'm no, not actually, just saying. Uh, yeah, go on. And then it'll be your held action as you move and do what? Yeah. That works a lot better than the other thing. Yeah, that I, I like had. it. It's got the <laughs> fingers. Is moving with her? Yep. Uh, Mirage, you moving with her? Yeah. Para moves up behind you. You see, she hearing the howling, she pulls out the infernal axe. It alights with infernal flame. <laughs> She turns, looking at it, and turns back to you, Maraud. Is this... evil? <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> About that. <That's... laughs> I like that Maraud is teaching this. Right? It's only evil if you don't use it. She nods. Real persuasion. <laughs> Does it have fuel in it? It doesn't, does it? Uh, no, it's, it's a magic axe. This is the chainsaw is it not, axe. I thought, it? I thought it was a chainsaw axe. No, it's a infernal. Is it? Wait, I thought it was infernal axe that had fire. The, yeah, it was. It was one of the. It was one of them that where you can fuel it up and yeah, it'll. Oh, it was yeah. a chainsaw axe. Oh fuck! Wait, sorry, so I thought it was just yeah. a fucking flaming axe. No, yeah, she know. she holds it. She's like, oh yes, is this evil? Only if you don't use it. Can, can I spend an air to point to say that you reach over and, you know. And you pull on the when she asks, and you turn it on for her. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then everyone thinks there is fuel in it, so it actually runs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like a little left. Yeah, you guys hear. Awesome. Say, uh, look. Very evil dead. Yeah. Chainsaw, we're fighting on Oh, dead. yeah. Look. It's worth the point. <laughs> Plus, you'll do more damage. You use that against something that uh, has blood, and then you stick that blood in it. And then you use it again. That sounds evil. <laughs> I was convinced now, and that's for sure. Well, Sarah has a boomstick. <laughs> what is that? It's my boomstick, baby. It helps you keep you alive. It helps. Set up. <laughs> I say, uh, it helps keep you alive, so you can worry about whether it's evil or not. All right, next. Unless you guys do anything else. Uh, no, we're, Excellent. we're just Don't we're attack just the, the, the bad guys. Next. Well, can't, I, can't. I think we're just trying to run. Uh, next are, is the Revenant and the other. I don't know which one would go first. They are the Revenant would go first. Do they go together? Oh, I don't like it. Oh, wait, there's another one over here. Oh, that's the Wraith. Yeah, that's the Wraith. The blue ones are Wraiths. Yeah. As the Revenant uh, in orange there runs up to you. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Tell me how I load. Uh, Marad, we roll it. No. Natural 20. Hey. Runs past me? Runs right past you. <clears throat> you get an attack opportunity if you want. No. I'm hoping this will hurt. As it moves, uh... A lot faster than you would think something of its size could. How far does it go? Uh, 80 feet. Like a linebacker. Like a linebacker. Hey there. 
Yes. Tell me high or low. I mean, does it stop if... Okay. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, Poe, would you roll me high or low? Or roll me a d20. It's got another 15 feet. It. It's a nine. The you want to re-roll that? The carpet's in the way. It's coming. You see this frost giant that's undead gl with glowing runes uh, about to linebacker tackle your carpet. Uh, about to come after my butt? Oh, yeah. Can she have, like, a... a you guys, am, I the, you guys, am I the first one on the... Like, am I the first one it would theoretically see? Uh, It's going to hit your whole carpet. Like, like batting down a spider web. As in, if it's undead, it shouldn't be able to see me, but I don't know if that matters oh, since there's a carpet Oh, good. Thank you for reminding me. It does not see you. But it sees the carpet full of people. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that was what I was trying to do. Okay. Now, yeah, now, I went there. Now, that was a higher... Let's... You're in the clown car. It just can't see you driving it. Right. Now, I now, love this. Now that was a high. Uh, can I use an inspiration to re-roll it? Yes, or you can. Is it yes, you can. Change to somebody else. Is yep. that going to hurt somebody Do else it. in the party? Do it. Okay. Um, erasing an inspiration. I'm too nervous to eat. Do you want me to re-roll it? I mean, I would love to kill yes. lots of this NPC. Go on. Yes, please. Cause <laughs> it, it, so like roll it. high or tell me high or low. Um. Well. Low? Um, Pick one. Let's go low this time. All right. <coughs> Two. Nice. Uh, As hey there, how do you get out of the way of this giant? I put my face down real close to Radic Gas and go go up as quick as you can, boy. As you see, <laughs> comedically, <laughs> it, yeah. it just does the wave. <laughs> As you hear uh, Melo go, oh my god. Um, oh, oh, sucks. <clears throat> Her tail like hits it. <laughs> uh, yeah, as it runs by. <laughs> that's right, that's feet where it is. All right, uh, that's him. The other one uh, moves up. Takes a piss. Uh, you guys, tell me high or low. Pop. What are you? Answer. High or low. High or low. I'll go high. Okay, Sarah, will you roll me a die twenty? Tell me what it is. It's low. Did you say low? Yeah. I said high. All right. Mm. As you notice this thing, go up to the stones, the statue, looking around, almost like it senses the living. One, two, three, four, five, six. We roll me a d6. Unless you guys want to do another high or low. As you see it. <laughs> do it. Do it. You're not the one getting hit. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, do it. Yeah. You, gonna, you gonna spend some like shit? Or... Right? Fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right. We'll go back to the higher low. Oops. All right. Because <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm at the top of this statue. Yeah, it's still gonna bust up the statue. Right. You, and you too. Uh, roll hot or roll me a die, but hold on. Call higher low, Poe. Uh, I'm gonna go with high again. Roll it. That cat wants you. No. <laughs> yeah. As it hits the statue, the statue, part of it just busts open. Uh, this would be a dexterity save, which you'll probably make. <laughs> we'll see if it actually hits you, though. Oh, it is hitting yours. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, See, that is a that 25 dex save. <laughs> 25? As uh, you're like, <gasps> you go to the other side real quick. <clears throat> uh, AC is 17? My AC is, yes, 17. As you go to the other side, it busts. <clears throat> As you move to the other side, kind of like uh, the cave troll, it looks and sees you and punches you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah! Ah! As its fist buries into the statue. Oof. Hagen goes over the telepathy. Um, <laughs> there's a, 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 a giant running down the path. Stay out of its way. 
Hagen seems a bit. Depressed. You take twenty five damage. Doosh. Doosh. Uh, roll athletics, uh, Dav, to see if you stay on this this uh, statue as the whole thing rocks. <laughs> Um, it attacks the one player that can't take <laughs> can't can't the hit. Right? N- 19. 19? Yeah. Is you that just on. luck or are, is it intelligent? <clears throat> oh, it's intelligent. Very intelligent. Yeah. Okay, good. This is great. <laughs> All right. It, 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 it attacked twice. Oh. Well, it was nice that one. No, no, no. It, it, the, the first one was slapping into oh, the dexterity yeah. save. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, those are the... The revenants. Okay, so it is the others' turn. The goon and the others. That well, others oh. and then goon. Okay. The other is that one, I don't right? Know what the or we don't know what the other. Yeah. Hagen, you up there? You hear this? Hagen turned to watch it run. Is it coming from this way? Yep. Turns around again. What? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> As you see, <laughs> is there's like this red light emanating <clears throat> as it seems to be getting hotter. <clears throat> as you see, is that a meteor? Nope. <laughs> as one of the mausoleums way over there, just... and you hear a full on battle going on over here. You don't know. I think there's a battle going on. As you on. hear Gandalf style. <laughs> and like an, uh, a lightning bolt. I think there's catapult firing. Or something. Somewhere up ahead. The goons. Slither up. Slither. Crawling. These two. Around towards you all. They move over that bomb. How far do they move? Right through the bomb. Well, how? Oh, wait. Okay. Oh yeah. Did I hit it? Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're like ah. They just <laughs> one I... one sees it and goes and steps on it. <laughs> 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 it's What's the damage? That's me and Bill as zombies in the city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Two D six. It's like a Sims. It's like a tree house of four. <laughs> What are, what's this? Does this thing move? Oh, yeah, it rolls to the brim. Ah, uh, so that's 10 damage. 10 damage? Yeah. They both take 10 damage. Plus they get moved, they, plus they get thrown 5 feet in the air. <clears throat> yeah, they uh, fly, tell me how you look. Oh, uh, low. Yeah, that was high, they fly 5 feet this way. Uh, parts of them blow off. Uh, you don't see it, you just see... You just hit a, an, an explosion. Uh, an explosion it's as they... Dust and debris. Uh, the... Start... Shamble running. Uh, they can move 40 feet. <clears throat> they move 40 feet. Well, they were here 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Shouldn't the one that stepped on it be like hobbled? The five feet they got thrown. Yep. Huh? Shouldn't the one that stepped on it be hobbled? Uh, yeah, but they don't feel pain. <clears throat> it doesn't have a foot anymore. Yeah, well, that's what <laughs> it's I'm saying. Like, it's just yeah. not. It, it... You know, you can, you can move faster if you didn't succumb to pain. You know, just keep moving, twist your ankle. <laughs> Just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> you hold your weight. You hear what sounds like uh, a motor. <laughs> a buzz saw. Start cutting. Th- <clears throat> Is there a chainsaw? <laughs> no, it's a buzz saw. Start cutting through those trees. <laughs> as running out. Mm-hmm. This fucking <clears throat> horror. Oh. You see this muscle. <laughs> Who's man? been playing Dead by Daylight? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't play video games. You see this muscled man with chainsaws, <laughs> not chainsaws, with buzz saws for hands. Have it. He's got this backpack on that's like go, 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 as blood is spewing out all over the place, alchemical blood. Uh, you don't have a mohawk for no goddamn reason. But, do, 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 do. What a splatterhouse moment. Yeah. He'll have three legs oh, as he kind of sort of. Uh, what do you call it? Not gallops. He does the uh, trot. Yeah, he does like a little trot as he. <laughs> ah! 
Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody roll no, initiative. Is that one of the two people? Yes, we already went in the direction oh, yeah, of Andrew's ball. Uh, you're getting the pincer attack right now. Oh, no. Uh, hey, the, the good thing is, Marad, Sarah, Bryce, and are between you and the chainsaw. Yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> are between you, song. you and the bus saw man. Yeah, they're they're lovely, about to get lovely. pinched between yeah. two, but yeah, no, it's yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, his Wait. name is Buzz Saw. Wow. All right. Uh, twenty-one. Hilarious. Hater. <laughs> Little Gotham goes, no. Hater, <laughs> no. what's your initiative? I have 14. 14. Okay, what's the race? Yeah. <clears throat> Buzz, Jeez. no. Wraith goes on 17. Yeah. Revenant. Revenants go on, ooh, you lucky. Goes on three. Hmm? Uh, goons. Goons go on. Goons go on. 18. Then the others. And Buzz Saw goes on. 16. Are you still doing the others? No, he is the other. Okay, I didn't know if the. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, that is. That's a world action. Okay. Yeah. That was really just to see when it occurred. Okay. So Hagen is first. Uh, Hagen moves back up to the corner here. Yep. What does he see both ways? Tony roll perception. Yep. Uh, eighteen. First, you see the wraith there. Yeah. Uh, is it going this way? Uh, it's turning around okay. and whatnot. Uh. Within 15 feet of it is its aura, by the way. So, do you get into its aura? I mean, you would uh, be able to see the darkness. No, I do. I <clears> as, you, there as you stay back, uh, you see it looking around as it obviously sees you. Uh, it will probably attack. What's that like? You see this mist, a light with, uh, think of like a World War, um, World of the Worlds. There's something hellacious going on over uh so there's the gates um and the buildings and such uh trees and whatnot as the path leads up and over a rise which you know from uh when you guys went up into the air would lead well it would lead down a path <clears throat> along the river towards the bridge is there a gate or anything blocking the path yeah there is a it it's, open. It's, okay, open. it's open and what is the red thing <coughs> oh that's nothing um, that was for me to remember that there was something there. Using telepathy, Hagen would call out, The gate's open! We need to make a run for it! And then he would throw his hammer at that thing. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> Don't think spins a fan out. Does a 20... Uh, Five. Hit it. <clears throat> uh, yes. As the hammer <sighs> passes straight through it, okay. roll damage. For it is magical. <clears throat> uh, the hammer flies directly through it, but slams into the building. And like, because it's magic, right. uh, lands and uh, sinks into the building. Do you want me to roll the cold damage too, or is it immune to that? It is not immune to cold. <clears throat> Twenty-three, and then <clears throat> as you see part of it discorporate momentarily, as it uh, the ice breaks off, um, maybe turns some of its uh, shadowiness to like an ichor. Throwing the hammer and seeing that, uh, well, as soon as Hagen throws the hammer, it begins charging it. Sure. Uh, I run it and <clears throat> Superman punches <clears throat> the goblin. As you go th into its shadow, <clears throat> charisma save. Oh, it's charisma? Yeah. I thought that was for the Medusa. Mm -mm. No, that was. I thought, yeah, it was, it's charisma. 
Wait, it was, was it? for the rain? No, it was it was wisdom. Was it wisdom? It was wisdom. wisdom. Yeah. My bad. Uh, twenty-four. Because I rolled you, a twenty. You do pass. It is fifteen damage necrotic. As you uh, get into it's dementor shingamajig. Uh, so it's fifteen, which you would half one time, because right. that's already halved. Does uh twenty-two hit it? Oh yeah. Oh, what are you hitting it with? The gauntlet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Does it do the extra damage? Oh yes. The gauntlet is like a bright light. I know. In like a there. dark. It's like being a paladin. In... Dark tunnel. Yeah. yeah. As and you're like, off. but I mean, like literally, like it flares up in the shadow of this wraith. Uh, beautiful silver, angelic, everything. You hear like, fucking angels. He runs and Superman jumps and punches oh, yeah. it. But... As you see it for a moment, if can a Wraith, wraith show fear? I don't know. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> the answer? Yes. Is there, so from the top of that statue, do I see a flash over in that direction? <laughs> yes, you do. Cool. <laughs> uh, 32 from the punch. Wow. You just see a little dark spot go down its wraith cloak. Yeah. <laughs> As you punches it, using bonus action to pick up that hammer. You rip uh, the hammer out of the building. Uh, building parts fall on the ground. As you hit this thing, you actually knock its crown off. Bang! Um, and it buckles and moves back away from you like it's afraid, staring at that gauntlet. Uh starts to gather and coalesce its dark energy to attack. Seeing that, Hagen looks at the gauntlet and back at it, flexes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Name stand on the carpet, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. Bryce. You hear Name go, Hagen! Okay. He's just gonna move with him. <laughs> Stay so, back! Get to the exit! Sarah, you are next. Okay. What do you do? Oh, I'm next? Oh, sorry, sorry, I thought you were sorry. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so I will turn around after, you know, seeing Crazy Chainsaw Man coming up behind, or hearing him and then seeing him. Um, I'll pull out Gilgamesh's spear. It's like, nope, not letting this guy get behind us. So I'll um, I'll basically charge at him and try and stab him with the spear. All right, you dun, 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 dun. run up and try to give him the good news. <clears throat> Okay. So. I figure Bryce will attack if it gets yep. within like stabbing range with mm. the javelin. Yeah. He doesn't get reach with it, but. So I've been forgetting to do your guys' little avatars. Ha, huh, so this may. Okay, so it's a plus. Yeah, just remind me of it. I, I have him kind of just holding his action and moving with it. Yeah, it's a, that's, like a, that's like a 30 to hit. So. Oh, yeah, you hit. <laughs> yeah. You, you take your, uh, your javelin and. Stick him in the throat. Um, and I'm going to release the cone of cold. So we that's a d8. And I, I'm just going to use my oh, phone. Go to attack it. No. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to use my. I'm going to use an app to do that because that's a lot of eights. Uh, dice. Ah, d8s. One, two, three, four, five, six, <clears> seven, <throat> eight. For a total of 40 damage, holy fuck. <laughs> um, Using uh, his spear, right? Oh, wait. So never mind. No, wait, no. 18 is not a crit. Um, yes. <clears throat> As you stick him in the throat, uh, the spear goes through his throat. His head kind of goes to the side. You pull it out. 300 style blood. As he goes to a knee. Totally undead, eyes flashing greenish blue. It'll have like German style uh, goggles on. The little fucking tiny glasses. Little... Yeah. Ah! It's like a Nazi scientist. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my other attack. Okay. Well, oh, that one's a well. That one's that one is a crit. Cause that's twenty. Her, um, twenty hits. Yeah. After her. So. Well, after the NBC after her. Yeah. Uh, what was it again? So the regular attack is one d so two d six. Oh yeah, wait, never. No, hold on. I'm gonna. Act, I need to do the other two d six attack for the other one first before okay. I forget. Okay, so that's um, 
eight on the first one. What kind of damage second. is it? One is, uh, uh, I guess let's say the six is cold damage and the two is piercing damage. Okay. And then the next one is, uh, so two cold damage and one piercing damage on the next one. How far back did this thing move? Just five feet? Hmm? Is that right? Did it just move back like five feet? Yeah. Yeah. It'll move a little bit away from you. Uh, you notice the cold doesn't seem to phase him at all. As ch -ch -ch, uh, he, he freezes up and just sort of breaks free, his skin falls off, but it doesn't seem to... <clears throat> it's like he doesn't care. Uh, the piercing goes through because, you know, you pierce his body. You do anything else? Um, and then I will... After that, I'll, I'll disengage and move back out of his, uh, you know, immediate. Do you have a uh, the rogue ability to do such? I do bonus? not. I mean, I, I don't. Not 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 such that he can't attack me, but I can add to my AC by you know if, if he goes to attack me. Uh, he definitely goes to attack you. Uh, he uses his juju and attacks he you twice. He has saw hands. He's he attempts to. I'll move back. Yeah, five ten feet. Even if he tries to hug you, he attacks you. AC twenty. Uh, Even if yes. he doesn't want to, yeah. he's, he's going to. <laughs> They're buzz saws. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's hitting you right now. Okay, well I'm going to <laughs> use hitting. one of my yeah wah. fancy footwork. He's cutting into you. Is 24 enough? A very evil dead. Nope. Okay, so I'll do another. I'll do another one of my my thingies. Superior dice. Superior dice. dice yeah. yeah. That's a okay. I'm assuming a thirty is good. Yeah, as you see, <laughs> you see, uh, Sarah like ducking. Who sees uh, Marad? You see Sarah <laughs> ducking this blade, this bus all as he like turns it and it's coming down for. Her. She does a back bend out of the way as he attacks you a second time with his stupid ability. Jump just fucking made up. <laughs> <laughs> he hits you on this one too. Okay. Do you have the same AC? Or is However, it only you want to play attack? that. I mean, it's, it's I'm moving in one like. Yeah, we'll say it's the same AC. Okay. Uh, with a 28, since you got a 30, as she does like a, um, a little break dance move and kips over the other one. All right, you run away. He's like, ah! Cut a tree. <laughs> 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 Next. Okay, RLL <laughs> stays on the carpet, right? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. RLL stays on the carpet, right? <clears throat> you hear Daxidarian, uh, Lil D, screaming. And she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, we don't have Lil D following somebody. <laughs> she's really not doing here. anything. She's just, yeah. yeah. Just hanging out. All right. Okay, so Dav. We do um, Dav. So... So this thing attacked the statue that he's on. Yep. Okay. And then um, punched him. And then punched him. <clears throat> okay. I um, run. I run. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna. Like he, his fist comes back. You see Poe there, uh, and like <laughs> pieces of, of stone. Yeah, I'll fall down. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm going to. Try to activate like, the wings. <laughs> it's all. You what? I'm gonna try and activate the wings. <clears throat> High or low? High. Okay. I see. As you can fly right now. Okay. Right now. Yep. Exactly. Uh, I'm gonna go to Poe and pick him up, Zing. and we are going to dip. Um, how how high would I have to go to go straight at the flash I just saw? Uh, the highest place here is about 80 feet, okay. but that's only a few uh, pillars. Uh, most of the mausoleums are two stories. Uh, there's a couple that are, you know, Henry Clay style statues that are really tall. Okay. But if you're 50 feet in the air, you're pretty much above everything. Okay. <clears throat> 50 to 70. So... Granted, then you're in the fog. Right. Um, okay. As you go up... Well, we're, it attacks we're, you with an attack of opportunity. You are moving into its space and out of its space. <clears throat> okay. You gotta get me. Yep. <clears throat> All right. 
Which one does it hit, though? I think it's going to go after death. Okay. All right. Uh, it's a lie. It swaps it. Yep. Uh, ah! Uh, AC is 20. Yep. AC is 20. Yep. Murad, will you roll me that? Twenty. Nat twenty? Natural twenty. Oh, oh. No. What the fuck, Murad? <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Why do you roll for us ever? <laughs> um, As you see him like Gimme give gimme give like, grabs your, your asshole. Can I fucking like, inspiration like, his <laughs> bullshit? Can I inspiration his bullshit? He grabs your legs. Can I inspiration <laughs> his bullshit? <laughs> Oh, he, he holds Should I allow it? Uh, let's do a fate roll. Allows you to what? Okay. He attempts to grapple your tank. We tanks. will fate roll to see if this crit. Like to, I'm trying to inspiration uh, that who, bullshit who's, crit Who's fortune? Who's false it. fortune? I'll be, I'll be fortune. Uh, hey there, do you want to be false fortune? Yeah, let's do it. What could go wrong? All right. <laughs> uh, so the stakes are fortune. Uh, it is not a crit. Okay. But he does hit because he okay. did roll a 20. Yeah. Uh, false fortune. It is a crit. Yep. Okay. All right, do it. <laughs> Who rolled the other one? What'd you get, Hey there. Oh, got it. Rolling. She's yeah. false fortune. Yeah. Uh, I got a 23. 49. All right. Okay. <clears throat> as he tries to grab your legs, as you kick him in the face, but he smacks you up into the air. So you're... 50 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. uh, you were jostled as well. It's going to knock you high enough for the wings uh, Potentially. That is the race. You know, and then you're going to fall right down to... Uh, you're going to fall into that pool over there. <laughs> and whatever the fuck those things are. Gonna it is mm -hmm. 25 damage. Good lord. Okay. Yeah, that that's, their, been, that's their base. That would have been 50. Well, yeah, I... At least. We they, they get a bonus, so it would only double oh. the, the dice. But it would have been... In the 30s or 40s, depending on what we rolled. Been a lot. Yeah, yeah that's a lot. Anyway, he is a frost giant. Yeah, as you. <laughs> flying up there. Um, uh, you and Poe. Yeah. Well, did he grab me? No. Is... Okay. He smacked you guys up. Oh, no, no. Did he grab me before yeah. the attack? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was, didn't he was grabbing you. Then <laughs> he's attack. like, "I got you." <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have you anymore. Um. Okay. Then. Um. Then. Yeah. Um. So yeah, at that point, I'm I'm gonna go towards the flash. All right. Uh, move yourself your this distance. Flash? I'm gonna use the bathroom. You guys can mm. strategize how since you have to let. How far can you go? Um. Uh, I don't know. He'll have to move up. What? What uh, are you... So it's 120 total. He'll smack so... you 30 feet, so you'll move. You have moved 20 already. Okay. Um, so what uh, what flash are you talking about? Hmm? What flash are you talking about? Hagen. Oh, the 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 Using when he the punched him. Okay. You can get like right here. Okay. Do you want to come out right here? Yeah. Let's go straight. Yeah, that sounds good. I thought you were talking about the flash of the. And that's 80. You can move another 85, 90, 95, 100. Well, as soon as we're out, then then yeah, we can see you. Right, and... that's eighty feet, and you decide if you want to use the other twenty and how. Um, what height are we? Two? Well, we would have we would have been up pretty high. Um, so so to come back down, we would so we're we're hovering. Um, probably. Let's um. Let's say that we stay hovering twenty feet in the air. You know. Right. right about there. That one we flanked. Yep. Uh, it, it, that's black mist. I don't want to be in that. Yeah, I was gonna say we are outside of fifteen. You're above. But, yeah. Okay. If you're, and if you're we're twenty, 20 feet near. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's why I didn't worry about that. But, cool. But you would be in it if you were on the ground. Yeah. I was worried about the claymore. I thought I thought the flash you were talking about was the claymore. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. The, the only one I had has gone off now, so it's okay. My strat well, my strategy was I was gonna run this way and jump on the back of bus saws oh. and, because I have therm ther thermogy, so oh, yeah. I could have I could have maybe like uh, stopped its 
buzz saws or something like that. Damn, crazy the buzz saw. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Since I'm just like floating. Spells can't really attack undead, can they? What? Spells? Can't attack what? Undead? Like is I don't know. I think you should be able to attack undead with spells. They might be immune to certain things. Well, I mean like my current oh sorry. My current spells. Because all my current spells are like suggestion and phantasmal force and that sort of stuff. I don't I don't know. Like maybe if I had my sp a spell book and I could wizard spell stuff. Hmm. Me? I wonder what uh, Buzzsaw dude is gonna do. He's gonna die like a bitch. Please. <laughs> Let's hope we we kill him this time. This next time. Yeah. Little nip it out. No Buzzsaw. All right. Let's do it. <clears throat> uh, where did they move? How, what, they what? stayed right there. 20 oh, they feet, did? 20 feet in the air. Okay, That's so they did not move around. No, they are, they're flanking it. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, I see. So I see. they're outside of its aura. Yep. Almost you, Roy. Okay. All right. As you guys move over... No, why would you just hide it like that? Yeah, they fly over all of us. that. Hi, look. Hi. As Hagen, you're fighting... You note mm, wow, so this. another couple meteors and a lightning bolt. <laughs> we'll see if you get hit. Mm -hmm. You say hi? I did. It's a nat 20. As you see the lightning, make an arcana roll. Uh, since it's a nat 20, you'll get an mm. advantage on it. Mm. It's uh... 15. Um, we're gonna to 17. As it is, in fact, <clears throat> magic, chain lightning, dot, 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 dot. as you see the meteors, it's meteor storm. There is big magic. Mm -hmm. Big magic. Okay. Uh, there's a wizard's duel no. of some sort going no. on out there. Uh -huh. We need to get over there and help him. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Something that's... bad is going down. Yeah. I was going to say. Well, good. That's good. When you were finding that out, I was thinking, yeah. he's fighting. That's what I thought, too, but I was trying not to go at it again. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, next. Um, I don't know. Who just went? You? Yes. Yep. Dav, who's 21. Uh, looks like Keith's next. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys can do uh, since you have telepathy, you can do a little bit of table talk mm -hmm. as you you see and recognize that stuff. Um, and then goon. What are you guys saying to each other? Um, this thing's afraid of my gauntlet. No, I think I've got a corner. Well, of course it is. Param says. <laughs> well, there's a big there's a wizard fight going on over that way. Uh, did you, you think it's this job? I mean, probably. That's oh, who we're here to meet. Get over there and help her. Go there now. Yeah. We're gonna run anyway. I'm just holding this thing back. You don't want us to stay and help? <clears throat> That's your call, Dav. I can handle it. And unless you want to make sure that the others get through. All right. And everybody else is hearing this too. Yeah. If you all want to chime in. Hey, so we got you guys kill. We got to take care of. You guys all table anything. talk. I'm gonna get a beer. You want a beer? Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. We got a buzz kill over here that uh, we got to take care of. <laughs> That's nice. Um, well, I mean, oh, 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 oh. Uh, did I pull it out? You you pulled one. Off, you pulled it off the table. Uh, but I don't think you're. I always, even if I check, I always look like that. Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay. okay. Can you all get away from it? Uh, uh, I'll be honest. Maybe. It kind of seems like there's a big battle we're going into. So if we don't have to fight right now, that'd be great. We could get away from it, but it's gonna catch up. What happened to your horse? <laughs> I will bring beer next time. Thank you. 
It's uh, it's in the pocket. I got squished. <laughs> I mean, can you use it? It's fast, right? He can't use it. Why not? Because you can only use it so often. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> because we already activated it once today, and... <sighs> And it's been turned off, so it can't be. Is that? Oh, that's funny. Oh, I, 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 I had the thought had crossed my mind of just activating it and sending it into the buzz thing, so it could get like chopped up a yeah. bunch, and then we can. Why like, do you want to kill this horse so bad? What are they called? What kind of figurine? I forget. <clears throat> horse figurine. I mean, at least we have something to eat. You don't though. It just, just goes me. back to a statue. We've been over this. <laughs> Well, I'll have to learn that by experience. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to look it up. I think they're called like magical figurines. <laughs> Figurine of wonder. wonder you know, you explained this to me, but it's. it's <laughs> no, it's, I just no. gotta learn this by. So some things you gotta learn by experience. Chat, right? should we allow Murad to use his horse again, <laughs> even though he's already used it? We'll have to give it a good ten some odd seconds. <laughs> hey now <laughs> hey now I see you. I've got the chat on I know <clears throat> who's that WC Leaky listen to him oh Lil Gotham says Pyramid Head's very distant cousin <laughs> yeah, that's Buzzsaw yeah. yeah Obsidian Steed um, the polished Obsidian horse can become a nightmare for up to 24 hours the nightmare fights only to defend itself once it has been used, it can't be used again until five days have passed. Yeah. So, so, do, so do we allow him to or not? Technically, uh, you couldn't have used that it. That said, it in the it's not a nightmare because, you um, know, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't describe it that way. Yeah. Uh, meaning, I forgot. Uh, <clears throat> but, <laughs> I mean, if it's a nightmare, it can fly. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. So, Matilda. Uh, is actually supposed to be a nightmare. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, Logotham says, make it work, but maybe glitch to have different kinds of steed for fun. That sounds good. <clears throat> Do you turn it on? How did you figure that out? I looked it he up. looked it up. Can I well, roll I mean, high or low to see if I do? You can homebrew it to where it's no, you get it. Yeah, sure. Why not? But I mean, a nightmare is. So if it's high, though. I'm going to turn it on. All right. If it's low, I'm going to think better of it. Do it. It's low. All right. Do you not turn on your awesome steed? No. Okay. As you look at the steed, it has a, an infernal look to it. <laughs> No, I'm. Well, it's Is not that even, evil? Like, I'm looking over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Is that evil? Param's gonna be like, like a teenager that's learning about like rock everything. and metal. Oh yeah. Gonna she's gonna have like a, a twisted si sister shirt and everything. <laughs> twisted? What a random. <clears throat> no, no. Uh, for 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 Param, it's gonna be winger. <laughs> All right. What do you do? Fish. It, it's not my turn yet. Fish. <laughs> it was Dab's turn. God damn it! What do you do? Wait. What did I? What? Okay, do, are you done with your turn? Yes. All right, next. Okay, so we're hovering. Uh, Param's turn. Is she going to go with Maraud still? Or it's, is she going to... Uh, I mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. So then it is my turn. Um, I'm going to cast Phantasmal Force on the Wraith. Okay, you do. Um, what kind of uh, effect is that? Uh, second level illusion, and they have to make a uh, intelligence saving throw. <clears throat> and and that, uh, what, what's the effect of it? Um, that's the, it. It will cease. What do you mean? Like what, what happens if it fails? If it fails, then the whatever I make appear attacks it. DC? Uh, DC's 18. <laughs> it's a 
intelligence is probably a 17. No, its intelligence is not that great. Oh. Uh, it's intelligent, but not super intelligent. Yeah. I'm looking Most towards. undead are not intelligent, meaning they, they kind of make impulse decisions. This one is good because it's a wraith. Um, oh, you're talking about the wraith. I thought you were the. Well, either way. No, you're oh, wait. No, uh, never mind. Wraith or basically. It has no effect on undead. Oh. So. It is undead. So you don't do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I know. Um. <laughs> yeah, we were wondering how much of it's magic for work. I don't actually know how much of it works on undead. Uh, I guess that undead are some of the more difficult things to fight. Uh, well, especially in like especially in the ethereal. Okay, what about, in, yeah. what about what about enchantment? In three five, it doesn't. Uh, uh, so it I'll, 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 I'll cast Bless Tasha's you. hideous laughter. Oh shit! Jeez. <laughs> okay, not Is that, gonna make it. <laughs> uh, that's a wisdom saving throw, and that one, the, its intelligence score is over four, right? Uh, oh yeah. Okay, so it's a wisdom saving throw. Funny, 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 death. undead. Uh, what's the DC, I'm sorry? Um, 18? still 18, 18, yeah. Okay, and it's, uh, wisdom? Yep. It's actually got more wisdom. Yeah, it would make sense. Oh. Yeah. Wisdom is higher in most creatures, just because. It's like straight knowledge. What am I trying to do? <laughs> so it needs... Alright. Uh, will you roll me a d20? Uh, it needs an 11. Seven. All right. Okay. Can you start laughing at As it starts. <laughs> why are we? Why, why is it laughing? Why is it <laughs> oh, this is the rape turn? No, this is your turn. Yeah. Yeah, it's it starts laughing. Okay. Do, 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 do. Someone's like, that, yeah. that shouldn't work, but it does. Mm. That's the end of my turn because that's because he's carrying me. So yeah, for me, they don't get me into it. What do you do? Huh? What's next? I mean, um, next you is you can have me drop you if you want. Next are <laughs> the goons. Is Flora still there? I imagine. All right, <clears throat> the goons run up. How far do they move? They've got sixty. I think, or was it forty? I think it's forty. That's forty right here. Yep, they okay. run up. Uh, so they they make a double move. Oh, okay. Well, if they reach, will they run up right on? Yeah. They, yeah. So that's going to be these two. They're okay. Gonna run. Uh, what are you guys' ACs? As 18. <laughs> they don't really run and attack you. They run and just sort of try to clobber you with their bodies. Uh, 20. 20 and 18? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. One goes for you. One goes for you. What did you say? Uh, and then Perriman bites uh, her behind him. How do you guys get out of their way? Or what do you do to stop them from clobbering you? I, um... Uh, well, I, I parry, and then actually, I'm going to try and move one of them uh, back into a uh, bus saw. Sure. Uh, if with a narrative point, I'll allow that to happen. Because I want to see it. Because, I, I mean, look, he's going to... He's uh, coming at me, so... I was yep. trying to think of one real quick. All right, so spin a narrative point. Yeah, it looks like they're just kind of running at you, much like the, much like the revenant. They're running somewhere. Are they running to the revenant? Are they gonna like? Are they gonna have a street fight? Are was like two rival gangs, like How the revenants you... and the zombies. <laughs> don't don't get along. How the do you avoid street? getting oh, clobbered by this guy? Give yourself a narrative point for that joke. I'll just. Uh, so are, are like on either side of the road? Is are there like walls or is it just like? <laughs> yes, it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I need this side of the road. Are there just like walls, or how is how like what is each side of the road actually look like? Um, just, you know, <clears throat> mausoleums, broken tombstones, uh, the cut tree, which is weeping. Yeah. Um. So at that point, like when I see him running at me, I was like basically you know slam my back up against the nearest wall and just let him you know ramp okay. up, like run. Uh, it attempts to hit Bryce instead. Then. Uh. <laughs> oh, whoops! I forgot about Bryce. As Bryce also moves like a revolving door, <laughs> as uh, yeah, it 
Runs. <laughs> Let's see, they were here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. You can get, like, right here. Yep. You see Param? <laughs> Start trying to tear him up. What about this one? What happened to this one? So what happens is uh, uh, he... that one So that one um, comes comes at me, and I swing around. I uh, Is the old dude still here? Or is he yeah. yeah, he hasn't gone yet. Yeah. So I swing around. Grab him, and then uh, with a 22 strength, I'm able to swing him back, use his momentum, and throw him into uh, Buzzsaw. Oh, Buzzsaw. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully, it'll take some damage. From uh, Poe, you have a hero point. Little <laughs> Gotham has given that to you. Very nice. Uh, yeah, Maraud, as you do that, you spin him back. The Buzzsaw <laughs> guy goes, ding, ding, and cuts him. He's like, Ugh! and moves off to the side, uh, taking damage. Buzz. Saw! Nice. What do you see? What do you see? Right. Hmm. Okay. Next. Wraiths. Or the Wraith. Who's laughing? The other Wraiths come out. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh -huh. More Wraiths. Just what we need. Right? Yeah. It's almost like that with <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. It wasn't that. It's, it's a, that's a classic DM trick. Things work in your favor. Things work like, out in your favor, and you're like, yeah, see? I find that. Yeah, totally find that. Totally. I totally find that. From Call the shot. Go. But yeah. it works out. Like, so, it's, it's so great. Great house. <clears throat> great house. That's why we didn't go into the house. Great house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want more blue things. If I can't find blue things, I can't have any rays. No there more blue be... things. Let me take all well, of the bottle caps. You got the well, you got the blue thing, you got the blue chips, you got the blue things. How many blue things did you drink, Poe? There should be a lot of... Uh... Like Zelda comes white out of tides. There, were... there were usually quite a bit of white tides. Mm -hmm. I well, I didn't drink the white tides. No, was... those are Aldi beer. Yeah. I did those at night. Well... Oh. A wraith comes out of there. Unless you want to roll... No, nah, it's fine. I'll punch him in the teeth. <clears throat> All right. Uh, a new wraith comes out. Safe. Oh. Uh. Uh. What's the DC? Fifteen. Okay, I pass. Is it fifteen necrotic? It's actually thirty necrotic. Half. So yeah. Uh, and then quarter. Um. This one flies up to you all. Both of you make. Uh. We're saying wisdom saves. Uh, DC is 15, and it attempts to pass through you. Um, it is important, I should say... Yeah, the Medusa was charisma, and the Wraith was wisdom. It is important that this Wraith, he's, he is special. He's the one to knock the crown off of. Yes. He's also the one laughing. Yeah. Are they all wearing crowns? No. Okay. Whew! Did his crown materialize and hit the ground? Maybe. I'll pick it up and shove it in my ass. <laughs> right. Does Nami have any like? Does she have turn dead or anything like that? Oh, yeah, she's a cleric. Yeah, I don't have any of that written down. Oh, but what'd you guys get? Did you pass? Nineteen. I'm gonna okay. die because it I is, have no wisdom. It is thirty damage. Necrotic, so you half it. Yeah. Uh, Hather. That's so much just passive yes. damage. Yeah. <clears throat> just make a damage. wisdom save. <laughs> Yes. Um, 22. 22. You pass. It's so 15 15. Damage. Okay. I mean, even even while I'm raging, even 7 points of damage every round is a lot. Yeah. It's way too much. Agreed. There's a trick. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> I'll do... You can do a narrative point to have it, the, the crown materialize, or we can do a higher level. Uh, or we'll do a fate roll. I'll spend a narrative point. Okay. okay, absolutely then. Hang, ding, 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 ding. It'll be uh, just behind it. Okay. So in its square. You hear in your voice, it's crown. It's not, I knocked it off. <clears throat> uh, the rest of you, so 
everyone's making this roll. Another wraith pulls up. Sarareth and Marad. Wisdom saves. DC is 15. What'd you get, Heather? Just lie about it, Heather. We can't save it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Uh, your devils are gonna have to make that too. I mean, uh, Hagen will try to pick it up, but nah, nah, is it a wisdom save? Wisdom save, yeah. Radagast does not. Man, people are. Uh huh. Uh, will you roll for Nana? Wisdom. Yep. She will likely make this save. And she's got a yeah plus eight. Well, here's a plus eleven. Actually. Yeah. Uh, twenty-eight. Yeah. Just. Can I use a hero point? Oh yeah. Yeah, you want to you you want to make this save. And that's fifteen. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, what'd you get? Right at fifteen. Fifteen. All right, you take fifteen necrotic damage. <clears throat> Seventeen. All right, you take fifteen necrotic damage. Have we done initial? Where are we? Uh, <clears throat> you guys have already got it? So those are the raids. <laughs> this just became a lot more dire. Mm -hmm. What? <clears throat> um, the wraith then tries to pass through you guys. It actually does have to hit you this time. Uh, Dav, it's gonna, since you're the one flying, it's going to attack you. Okay. AC 20. 20. Okay. 20. Did you just nap 20? I just tooed. As how do you get out of this thing's way? <laughs> this is like, ah! Oh shit, it's coming it right flies, at it's me. It's like 20 feet away. He turns around. Woof. <laughs> I should just have to turn it like goes and just sort of like inverts on the, itself. Yeah. Uh, I always hate that. Um, That thing just tried to fly through me. I'll say it would be a Again. lot more dire. Anyway, okay. Those okay, are the rights. If that thing was not laughing, yeah, yeah, that yeah, would be. It would pull out its sword next. Uh, <laughs> next is Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw. Ah! That's just getting fucking fucked up by the wraith. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you rolled me a d20 for it. <clears throat> Nineteen. Okay. So that only takes fifteen, which is only. <laughs> Uh, you see the wife, like, kind of draining out of it. It's like, wah, bazaar, and attempts to attack. <laughs> the zombie? Yeah, yeah, the buzzsaw. Uh, it, oh, indeed, thank you for reminding me. It attacks. Buzzsaw needs more than that. We're going to give him an ailment. Yes, we're not confused. Yeah. yeah, buzzsaw attacks the zombie with one of its attacks. Moves up, attacks you, attacks you, and will attack Bryce. Because it has four fucking yet? attacks. <laughs> Fuck buzzsaw. Well, it's like... Two, two smarts for three turns. I'm sorry no one went to prom with him, but he doesn't have to take it out on us. <laughs> it's, right? He can't jack off. That's what he's so mad about. That is really he's upsetting. He's so angry. <laughs> yeah. See, you see, he was mad at the convention. Yeah. Uh, roll me d20, please. Me? Yep. Uh, no, it's worse than that. He can't even wipe. Well, yeah. Somebody <laughs> give me a handy. <laughs> you can't, you're right, he can't wipe. He can't do it. <laughs> he just shits and pisses. Just... See, when we, when we met at the handicap convention, I told them that the chip, you know, the buzz saws were stupid and then he should go for something else. And now he's upset. Okay, you see him <laughs> like cutting into that goon as the goons <laughs> cut in half. <laughs> oh yeah, fucking murders that guy. As <laughs> he's <laughs> coming at you. Suddenly, uh, I'm glad to be surrounded by rays. Poe. Would you roll me a d20? This is against uh, Sarath. Two. Boom. How do you avoid the buzzsaw? Um, so I'll like, I'll wait till the last moment and like as I see the flat of the buzzsaw coming down, I'll just like punch it out of the way. Bang! Yeah, with your metal hand. Bang! As he, it kind of dents it. Bing, 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 bing. I'll give him a minus one to his attack for that. Because he's got a really high attack. <laughs> uh, as he <laughs> very dexterously, dexterously goes to a knee, goes for Marad. We roll, Dav. Uh, Marad, he needs a, a nine to hit you. Ooh. 
Seven. How do you get out of the way? Parry with my uh, with my machete. Kank. As you do, as he goes after Bryce. Bryce, does he have? Does Bryce have? Yeah, but he's he's on the other side of Marauder. No, 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 I'm just telling you where he is. Oh. Uh, he'll go in between you all. Ah! <laughs> He's like, I'm not mean, um, I'm surrounded by rates. I don't care. <laughs> I have no idea what his stats are. Indeed. I just got them down if you want to make them up real quick. He doesn't have any armor on? I don't think. I well, he was found in prison. So he has a, uh, he has a plus, we'll say, is a it, plus. Is it with a Y or an I? I think I have it with a Y. Yeah, a Y. Okay. <clears throat> we'll give him a plus three dex. Okay. Uh, he's Mad Mardigan. So we're making Mad Mardigan. Uh, plus two strength. Uh, we'll say plus two wisdom, plus three charisma. Intelligence of ten. Constitution, we'll give him a ten. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, Actually, we'll give him a nine constitution. So that's still a negative one. Or it's a minus one, because yeah. uh, he's he's been sickly and yeah. you know beaten up and stuff. Uh, what are his eight? What's his HP? HP? Um, he'll have he'll have sixty five HP. Okay. What's his AC? <clears throat> so AC is ten plus Dex, so thirteen. Okay. Mm. Oh shit. Yeah. What's his speed? Thirty or 40? thirty? Okay. Because he's a human. I didn't know if he had anything special. No, he's, um, he's a fighter. What's his proficiency? We'll call it, give it a, he'll be about equal, so plus four. You guys at a plus four or three? Nami's a plus three. He'll be a plus three then. And he's a fighter, so he's got the strength and con, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Which will give him Quick advantage steps. since he has a negative. Um, he's basically got the same, he's a criminal, so yeah. he's got those things. What's his the, plus to attack? Uh, so be... Three and three is plus six. Oh yeah, that. Uh, yeah. Have a, uh, then he has a spear, so plus one. Yeah, I can I can do the rest. And so there's some fighter bullshit that he can have to give him whatever bonuses those are. I don't know yet. I don't know fighter. We'll say he has a plus two on top of all that, so I have a plus, uh, plus eight, eight yeah. plus the thing, so plus nine yeah. to attack. D and D. Indeed. In D and D. Uh, all right. He gets attacked. Uh, Murad, will you roll for him? What level you is roll he? roll for Buzzsaw, huh? What level would he be approximately? Yeah, he's, you know, comparable Six. to all nine, ten. Okay. Six. Or probably ten or eleven. Six. Okay. Uh, so. And he's only a thirteen right now. <clears throat> mm -hmm. He does get Buzzsaw! Wow. As you see uh, Buzzsaw go after Bryce, he's like, oh no, oh, oh no, oh no! As you see blood. You just wrote all his stats and he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. It's not crit though. <laughs> right. Oh god, it's so good. At least all we're right. already in a graveyard. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, uh so Thank it's a uh, uh he's got the buzz saw, so it's five D ten. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Um, hey there, roll me a d10. Okay. And the rest of you, except for Hagen, because he's your NPC. So everyone, roll one d10. A d10. Okay. Three. Oh, nine. <laughs> three and nine is twelve. Plus eight is twenty. Three. So Z twenty-three. Zero is a ten. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-three damage. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I hear it. What the hell? Doesn't mean it's a big he, baby. <laughs> as he's grasping on to both of you. <laughs> I make the scene. You're just standing here together, and he's being chainsawed. And you're just, ah! <laughs> so that's a good point. All of you roll sanity. That yeah. just makes sense. <laughs> just looking into his eyes as he's being fucking chainsawed. He drops the weapon. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Picks it back up. Yeah. It's like Running Man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sixteen for me. All right, you have seen worse. <laughs> Somehow, as, as he's grabbing around me, Four. I'm you so lose sad. a point of sanity, Murad. <laughs> Taxes, he Down to ten. Just one. Uh, he'll get two. Uh, 
Because <laughs> he can yeah, do the fighter to, thing where you have an extra attack at fifth level. Because yeah. the, the javelin's only a d6 plus three uh, because of his slow strength. So he'll he'll take the uh, he only do nine damage. He'll take the time. fighter shit that gives you bonuses say, to damage so and attack. He will do that. He'll have the extra attack. All right, uh, you lose a point of sanity, Marad. Yeah. As action surge. for a moment, uh, second win, so he you remember extra, um, bonus action the horrible punishment. <laughs> Your tribe used to do for people that disgraced the graves <laughs> of the giants that you worshipped. Yeah. That, uh... As they would drink from the dead skulls of the giants and then eviscerate, you know, cut people long ways in half. Yeah, sounds horrible. Yeah. The Mongols used to uh, tie one limb each to a uh, horse and then let them uh, ride off in uh, each direction. Drawn and quartered. Be nice yeah. to your horses. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next. Uh, After Buzz Saw. Next is Hater. Hey there, your turn. <laughs> so, um. Be right back. Because of everything that's happening, what, which which big nasties are currently around me? <laughs> uh, so you have a you have a revenant running behind you, but. Uh, <clears throat> He's not attacking you. You have a wraith okay. directly in front of you. And as so long uh, as you're near it, uh, you take lots of damage. So I'm going to just build him out. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to ignore the ability score improvements? No, hit him. Okay. Uh, hey there, can you still see the map? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't... Yeah, I see the blue thing. So since you're on a carpet, you can fly up and that sort of thing. You have a lot of maneuverability right. if you want. Yeah. What what I'm wondering is, uh, my fingers are crossed, but you can't see it, mm -hmm. so they're crossed. Um, do y'all want me to come back and help you all, since we're now in a dire situation rather than abandoning the team, or what would? What's the new plan here? <clears throat> we need we need. There, there's a wizard fight that you know about that is further down the road, and they have been informed as well that they need to get out of that scenario. Okay. So, so in theory, best to to we need to get fight. everybody out to the wizard fight. So, if you were to tell him, you know, Radagast to to you know take people forward, then that's one thing. If you want to go back, but but I think I think moving forward is better. And technically, you don't know what's going on with them because that none too. of them have communicated <laughs> that they are being that's oh, true too so i have no idea that, that this extra stuff is going on no uh, no that they're being bus okay. sawed and all that sort of stuff you know that they're behind you, you and can that... hear a bus saw and uh bryce screaming. i can probably hear yeah. bryce right yeah, you definitely hear bad's happening right so <clears throat> that's the information you have uh, what do you do what do yeah What'd you do? <clears throat> what I'm gonna do. Man, they could get hurt at the wizard fight too, though, because we don't really know. We're just assuming here. Oh. He took how much? Um, three? Yeah. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> Fucking, I've got a carpet full of NPCs. So and if you want to roll his, I send them, his hit points, no, you can't get hurt. <clears throat> I just uh, modified them based on I'm okay. I'm yeah. tweaking it. I'm gonna telepathy back to you all after hearing Bryce <laughs> screaming. Um, hey guys, what was that? It's fine. He's fine. We're fine. <laughs> how, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it sounds like I'm doing better. Yeah. Than yeah. <laughs> I guess we never liked him anyway. <laughs> it's okay, he'll live. It just, you know, just, just, it's fine. We'll take care of it. <laughs> okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna head for the wizard fight with the knowledge that if it does get dire, since I've already traveled this path, I can teleport back with Radagast. He's All still right. got one more. So. Uh, <clears throat> so how are you getting away from this wraith? Um, I'm gonna go up. Okay, that will be. Is it gonna follow? Uh, no, it'll just get an attack of opportunity. Oh, it's that close. Oh. Yeah, there, there's... Yeah. He's the blue guy. Right, right. 
He's right in front okay. of you. Um, remember, you are a rogue. Can, but I, can, I don't, can I dash whilst on a magic <clears throat> carpet? Or disengage, I mean? I don't know. I mean... Sounds like a narrative point to me. Find out? You got a narrative point, he just said? Wait. That that... I, no, I, I definitely have a narrative point. But I also know I can hit this thing pretty hard. You can. Um, so I think I'm going to hit it. All right, give it the good news. Yeah. Yeah. That's As what you I'm go do. after this wraith. Because I have a weapon specifically for... Yep, and it does not see you wisdom. yet. Oh, good. So that's good. with advantage? No, that's sneak attack, too. Sneak attack. Yep, yep. <clears throat> All right, give it the good news. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, God. I'm glad I just moved my computer somewhere where... I, mean, I just hooked up to an Ethernet, so everything's oh, nice. a mess. And it kind of <laughs> sort of worked. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got to roll to hit it first. Jeez. <laughs> my G6s. Um... That's going to be a 18 to hit. 18 hits. Oh, good. Boom. As you come out of nowhere, you actually get a advantage because it can't see you. I get a what now? You get advantage because you are essentially inv invisible. Oh, yeah. Go for the crit. Uh, that's a, well, I'll try it. That was a 17. So All right. Good, uh, you hit. 20. 30 something. Yeah. Lots. Roll your damage. Uh, what are you attacking it with? I'm, I'm attacking with the soul dagger. As you whip out the soul dagger, no lunging forward, gripping onto Radagast, stabbing this thing in the face like Eowyn. Is that dagger silvered? Yes. It's the I kill undead dagger. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> sure is. Pretty much. Do well. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> if I don't, everybody's dead. Uh, <laughs> no pressure. All good stuff. Um, so how's your whole day going? That's a four. That's good. That's mm -hmm. good. Uh, eight. It's thirty-eight. Um. Yeah. So that's gonna be thirty-eight. Um. Base damage. Yep, yep, yep. Sure. 38 damage. Let me look it up. I'm all. I'm all. Jab the piss out of him. Yep. I'm all stab with him. Is jab and stab are the same thing, aren't they? Is it? Uh, we were talking. We, yeah, we're talking. Jab and stab. Yeah. Jab and stab. Yeah. Jab and stab. Yeah. Jab and stab. Yeah. So give him the old uh, jab and stab. Ninth and the third with Nigel, the jab and stab. <laughs> Oh, jeez. So, it just says... Okay, threat. what's the total damage? Which would be... You can stab. Would be um, one, yeah. yeah. It's one-handed. It's a 38. It's yeah. And then... Yeah. I, I'm scared to lose a soul, because I've got a, a, a big one in there, and I'm frightened of it. I don't um, know if that one would leave, even. Because it's sentient, right? Yeah, I don't know how it works now that it's sentient. I've got the mechanics here, but I don't know if that's how it still works. Because it does right. what it wants now. What's the total damage? 38. 38. <clears throat> As you stab this wraith, it howls in pain. Do you move? Do I move? Yep. Um, I would, if it's possible, like it, to, oh, I don't have a narrative point. Yeah. Well. I thought you said yeah. you did. <laughs> All right. You so you do? You. All right. Okay. Roll a uh, drive carpet. Okay. 
Which I think is, uh, do you have a stat for it, or we do? Are we doing animal handling? No, we hadn't been uh, hadn't been doing it as a stat until uh, last time. It was like, how were we? You'll just you'll just have a skill. It's called pilot okay. carpet. <laughs> And you get proficiency in it, and it's your dex. Cool. Um, <clears throat> that's going to be a 22. Okay, we'll see if uh, it beats you, because <clears throat> it's going to take an attack. Cool. It does not, as you see, Hather <laughs> go like Maverick, straight vertical, everyone holds <clears throat> on. Oh, you hear Melo. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> As you fly up into the air, where do you go? Um, I am headed as direct as I can towards the wizard fight. All right. <clears throat> so you're going to go about, what, 40, 50 feet up? Um, just over top of the, fi- uh, over top of the, uh. Mausoleum. Okay. So you'll need to go about yeah. 30 feet up, 30, 35. Okay. So we'll say... 35 feet, and then okay. you. what's your movement total? Uh, Radagast is 50. All right, so will one of you move her uh, 25, I'm sorry, 20 feet that way towards the exit? Yep. <clears throat> yep, as you move over top of the mausoleum, the mausoleum. All right, next. Okay. I'm going to shout also, if you all end up needing help, well, to, I'm not going to shout. I'm going to use my brain <laughs> and say, if you all need help, just say the word. Oh, what but is, I'm headed to the wizard fight. What is the revenant's dex? Revenant? Yep. Uh, low. <laughs> low. It's minus oh. two. My turn? Yep. Urad. Buzzsaw is buzzsawing. Buzzsaw, so... I'm assuming that both of uh, Buzzsaw's uh, saws for hands are... No, only one of them. Only one of them? Yep. Is in Bryce. As it zing goes through him, and he's all cut up real bad. All right. Well, for my uh, first attack, I'm going to take my machete and uh, attempt to chop his head off. Okay, do it. As you hack away. That's an 18. As you hit. Fuck. Uh, I will attempt to uh, attack again. Okay. I'm going to laugh so hard if he dies next round. That's... Maybe the monster? <laughs> no, Brian. That is also a, uh, that is a 28. <laughs> sure. Right, uh, Sarath, you see Maraud and the Bloodlust. Suck! Suck! What you suck! As he starts trying to chop this dude's head off. Guess what? I got two more attacks. All right, roll. Twelve. It's a miss. As it hits bone, he kind of turns his head and laughs. <laughs> One more attack. Twenty-one. As you start sawing. <laughs> All right, roll your all damage. Your all damage. Roll your all damage. Who's on deck? Uh, last is the revenants, and then the oh, next no, round. not the revenants. <laughs> oh no, not the revenants. That was bad. Twenty-six. Twenty-six total. Total, yes. All right. <coughs> okay. All right, uh, Maraud, you start hacking away at this guy. Meat, dead meat flying everywhere. So you're covered in ichor and, 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 and blood and guts. Uh, chopping into this dude's just heavily muscled body. Uh, every so often, he's like, ugh, ugh. Um, the buzz saws. <laughs> like maybe he likes it. <laughs> Next. Revenants. The Revenants. You hear in the giant language. We come for you. 
Uh oh, what did you do? You, you fucked up, Marad. No, she's saying, fu- the, he's saying the Marad. Nope. <laughs> you fucked up, Marad. Nope. You fucked up. I was going to say, I didn't hear the. <laughs> uh. All right. He attempts to bulldoze that guy out of the way. This is a uh, goon. Yep. Oh, they're coming for Marad. Mm-hmm. They're coming for Marad. <laughs> well, it's been nice. Don't let fucking. He plows through don't the let, statues. Uh, oh, yeah. What the fuck's the horse's name? Matilda. Matilda. Who named? <laughs> you, you see those statues go like this. <clears throat> These statues? Yeah, he yeah. plowed through. He just plowed As through. a guy just plows through it, clawing over whoever those people were. <laughs> As this one comes around, bips. The goon out of the way as he's uh Bryce. <laughs> as he's like ah, I think Bryce is like ah, he loves you. Uh, he attacks you. He goes full frost jet. <laughs> is Mummy level eight? With proficiency of plus three, she'd have to be. Huh. Then why'd you buy it? Well, I just want to make sure that it's that you did it right. That, <laughs> that right. her proficiency's not for it. <laughs> What'd you do, Maraud? <laughs> uh, she's level seven. Okay, that's fine. I figured she was eight just to be higher, but level seven. Uh, Maraud, AC is eighteen. I need to make it not nineteen. I need to make it eighteen. All right. He attacks you twice. Uh, we roll me a d20. Uh, let's see. 18, so he needs... He needs an 8. We roll for me. He needs an 8. 18. 18? I swear that's not high. Okay, what's your dex? It's 10 plus... Boom! 14. So 10 plus 2... That's no, 12. I, 18 on the die. Aren't you wearing dwarven armor? The dragon scale mail. What does it give you? What's the... Plus one bonus to AC. Plus one bonus, but it's dragon scale. <clears throat> yeah, so that's 13 plus whatever the armor... So it'd be plus one whatever the dragon scale needs you. Plus your dex limit, which is probably two. Yeah. I don't think it probably gave it to you because your dex is two, so... Maybe the scale mail did so finally get him up to 18. <clears throat> yeah, I'll look it up. Hold I mean, it might be right. I just feel like it's not. Right. You say it's probably not. <clears throat> uh, and it's dragon stuff, so I gave you, I'm pretty sure the he max. He gave a plus one. You, yeah, you, yeah. You did a flat plus one. Too, right? Well, that's in the book. I'm saying that uh, I raised the dex bonus on it. Uh, so scale is a 14 plus dex modifier max 2, which I figured it was, so but he only gets a plus 2, so that's 16. Um, so 17. So 17. That is five. And what's your dex? It's 14. 14. Yep. It's two. So it's 16 plus 1 is 17. And then do you have an iron, he's got an iron stone or something that gives him an so, I mean, In fact, it sounds like it should be lower. Well, it, you said that his dex, there is no dex limit on it. Right, Anyway, we don't want to go too deep on this because it doesn't it is matter 18. right now. He's right. He's right. No, he's right. Yeah, it doesn't matter right We now. shouldn't question him. All right. <clears throat> so, 18 sounds good because we thought it was higher and it's lower. Yeah. We'll deal with that later. 18's great. You get hit once. All right. He comes down. <clears throat> you see he he picks up. He grabs one of the statues, pulls it, uproots it like a club, comes down. Dav rolled a one. As he comes down to hit you with a statue, the statue mid-flight, the leg breaks. As you see, most of the statue fly like a javelin and destroy a mausoleum. As he woof, tries to hit you with a, with a calf that's too short. Bryce, his eyes, he's right there. As like the calf of the statue's there, and he looks over it at you. He's like, 
You're fucked. As he dives in his own blood and rolls underneath this guy's legs. <clears throat> then the frost giant. Run! Betrayer! As you hear from d- distant. As he tries to kick you and does. 25 damage. As you get slammed, uh, make a an athletics roll. Twenty. All right, you do not fly <laughs> thirty feet away through the wraith. <laughs> Uh, instead, you take the hit and roll with it as you spin, <laughs> land uh, prone, taking a shitload of damage. All right, that's them. You see another one coming from the other direction. Cross giants kick like red caps. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, next. Okay, that's the end of the round. It's new okay. initiatives. New initiative. Let's do it. Uh, okay, we're gonna do a re roll. Twelve. I'm gonna, yeah. Uh, twenty-three. Hater. Okay, plus. Thirteen. <clears throat> Buzzsaw goes on twelve. Oh, the revenants go on eleven. Twenty-eight for me. Wow! All I'm doing is rolling the exact same number over and over. Uh, the wraith goes on seventeen. <coughs> yeah, raids. And the goons, I think, are out of it. Yeah, he killed yeah. the yeah. goons. Okay, so Sarith, you are up first. So, um, I now that Buzzsaw, I'm assuming is Buzzsaw man like dead. Or is he just smacked against? Okay, well. No, Buzzsaw's um, hurt. I mean, he's dead, but he's mm-hmm. undead. Uh, well, I mean, fair en- okay, for me, undead. fair enough. Um, so. Uh, Remember, so, if you guys want NPCs to do something, you need to bit them. Mm-hmm. Seeing, seeing that that Marad's been, you know, smacked the shit out of, uh, I'll basically grab uh, and and you know. The chainsaw man is out of the way, at least for now. No, the chainsaw man's right in front of you. you well, the goon is the one that got uh, splattered. Goon. Buzzsaw is still there. Oh, Sawing okay, away. okay, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. <clears throat> okay. Um, you also have a wraith around you. Yeah, that and... wraith is going to fuck you all up if you're in his if you're in his zone on his turn. Yeah. Um. So can I kick something away from me? Yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna attempt to do that, like kick the buzzsaw man out of our, you know, immediate. And then you know, out of Bryce. Um, okay. Sure. Yeah. You Check out Boot in. Yep. In Bryce. <laughs> what would that be? Just like my strength. It's an attack. And like with my strength, probably. Uh, yeah. That okay. and your proficiency. Okay. You are so. proficient in booting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's gonna be eighteen. Yeah. As you plant your uh. Your foot directly in his solar plexus. Uh, what's your strength? Uh, four, or no, my, my total strength is uh, 18 right now? Yeah, yeah so 18. four. Yeah, as you boot him directly in the solar plexus, he moves back. Uh, you got really high. Let me see. He moves back five feet. Can, actually, could I, could, I, could I spend an arrow to point to say I boot him like directly into the frost giant? Sure. You do. <clears throat> Remind me of that fact. Okay. Okay. What else? Do um, you and then I'm basically gonna. We'll say that's a bonus action. How far? How far back did Murad get? get you know, smack. He's just on the. He's just prone. Okay. Because um, he, he rolled a uh, very high on his athletics. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna you know basically grab Bryce um you know with you know throw one of his arms over my shoulder and turn. It's like we need to, we need to get we need to Don't get tell going. Me, tell him. Yeah, we we need to get going. Um, this is this is not this is not turn out well. Uh, and I'll just basically start trying to, you know, take Bryce with me as far as we can get. Which way do you go? Because you're surrounded. Oh, 
Yeah. You have a frost giant in front of you. Oh, you do? You got buzzsaw. We're totally surrounded. A frost giant in front. Oh, wait, I thought the black thing was a frost giant. That was the one that hadn't got to you yet. Yeah. The one that smacked oh, Marauder is the two. orange guy. Oh. And a wraith. Yeah. And, and buzzsaw. Okay. And, the, and that's the. Huh. <laughs> you guys are. You and you've told all of us you're totally fine. If you don't move, I'm going to have Bryce run. Yeah. Right. What do you do? Uh, Some fancy under. footwork, baby. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm gonna try and get under, duck underneath the frost. All right, we say you, 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 you gathered uh, Bryce, so he's with you. Uh, as you roll through, we'll do athletics. Okay. To see if. Did he aid her? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he, he's a hindrance to her. <laughs> well, I mean, is, can he not just move independently, so you're not being hindered? I mean, I mean, you're grabbing him. Well, it's it's it's, it's her turn, and that's what she's doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're picking up and moving. Yeah. yeah, it's not more difficult for oh, her to do it. Oh, I'm gonna spend an inspiration. That was bad. <laughs> yeah. But I, I like the narration that. Oh, that's he's that's hurt. that's better. I like Even though better. he's technically you said, not. You said acro athletics. Athletics. Yeah. So that's you can use a... acrobatics. That would work. Okay. Well, with acrobatics is much better. So that with acrobatics, that's gonna be a twenty. Full, full, 24. Okay, describe to me how this happens. Uh, well, I'm and uh, you can, you can, you and Hagen, uh, if you want to describe, because we haven't really developed Bryce too much. How does he move? How does that happen? Because that's really fucking high. Mm -hmm. So how do they get out of this bind and out of these guys' attacks opportunity? Um, I mean, Bryce is kind of wily. I mean, if we're talking about just making a cinematic. Um, you know, as you turn to run past the, the monster, you tap him on the shoulder, he whips around and, you know, swings at it with their jabs at it with the javelin to get its attention. It swipes at him and you duck under it and move behind it. And then as it turns to attack you, he moves around the other side and you just confuse it like a troll or a giant and run past. So how do you, uh, you see, uh, Bryce doing this, like poking it and shit, like in the ass is distracting it. And, what are you yeah. doing with your fancy footwork? Um, so I'll basically... Go around, you know, like, like, you know, see it going to attack Bryce, then sort of, you know, whip around behind it. And as I, as I get, you know, as I get out of the immediate danger, I will like, you know, just quickly like kick it in the knee to get its attention towards me, so that way Bryce can get past. Yeah. As Bryce goes and nutmegs it right underneath the legs, like, uh, and runs. Come on! Oh, oh God! How far do you want to get? Uh, uh, full movement. Yeah, I'm You're thir thirty feet, right? Thirty, yeah. yeah. So this is you too. Uh, Marad, Sarath, and Bryce bounce. You move 60 or 30? <laughs> <laughs> you, move, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. you move 30 or 60? You go 30 or 60? Uh, 30. I'll do 30. Okay, you get to 30, you see a wraith at the other end. Oh, no. <laughs> you notice Hather is just above the mausoleum uh, on the Radagast, hovering there. Uh, Hather, Melalel taps yeah. you on the shoulder, uh, so does Grignir, and they're like, ugh. I think they're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm at the bounce, and the men, at this point in the in this like in what's happening, my goal is gonna, just going to be to. All right, get well, as hopefully far away. you don't die. <laughs> yeah, true. Because you're in the middle. Uh, yeah, I'll see. Yeah. But man, <laughs> the worst things that yep. have happened. Uh, Name, uh, can we bid her to do a mass heal because she is. Yes. Door? Yep. Absolutely, you can. All right, so I'm gonna roll that. <clears throat> Name raises her her uh, clawed hand and casts a mass heal upon all you, grasping uh, her holy symbol of Bahamut, the dragon. Is that thunder? Is that lightning? She looks up. He's here, she says. She does 27. Dav, of course, you know that's not the case. 27. <laughs> uh, hey there. You get 27 yes. back hit points, as do Grothrit and Grignir. Thank you. Is that all she can do? No. Okay. Um, what's the range on Yeah, there? what's the range on, on what, on turn? No, on, on her mass heal. Oh, it would just be those people. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I don't think it's far enough to hit Bryce and their well, that, a, that was a my number request. of people. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Oh, that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She can do eight. So she could hit one over here too. Yep. Uh, high I will say nine. Fuck it. Okay. I'm both. 
Then she gets uh, so, so you get 27 hit points <clears throat> back. So does Bryce. Yeah. As your wounds, and she's like, oh, it itches. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, if you can stay for the round. What was it? How much was it? Twenty-seven. If you can't, it's fine. Uh, but if you can, if you can't, it's fine. But if you can, it's fine. I probably shouldn't just because it's gonna be an early. It's gonna be a long That's day cool. tomorrow. That's all good. Um, what's the range on? Turn? Yeah. I'm dead. Oh. I can look that up. She could try to turn the the braids, or at least I think it's more like early spear them. I actually, it's probably like sixty feet or something. All of them, or just? Uh, I don't know. It depends on how it works. I don't know. I don't remember how it works. Did action eight, each undead that you can see or hear within thirty feet? Uh, so, uh, is this a race too? Yep. Can she do it to both at the same time? Yeah, fuck it. I mean, they're both within range. Okay. Do She'll it. do turn undead as well. I don't have the stats to roll that. But. Uh, so it is wisdom save. So it's her versus her wisdom save. Uh, you said kind of unplug me. Her oh. spell DC is currently at 15. Yeah, her wisdom is a plus 8, though. But the spell DC is 15. It's because it's 8 plus 8. So that'd be 16. That'd be 16. Yeah, it should be 16. Okay. And there's no modifiers to that proficiency get added to it if wisdom is her proficient. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Um. Is she going to spend? Let's see. Straight fifth level. What is it? Cleric level. She's. All right. You see this one over here, the one in between, just <laughs> explodes, as the other one <laughs> runs back in its mausoleum. <laughs> as she holds up, it is Bahamut. Bahab as you see the clouds. <laughs> And mist almost like part and lightning. <laughs> which of course is coming from the yeah. mage battle. But it emboldens her. It emboldens her. Hagen calls out, Good girl. As <laughs> uh, bones fall out of the, the, the shadow. <laughs> and riches. Ding 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 ding. Riches. Yeah. Bryce runs for the riches. Good to see you guys. Yep. See, see you later. Ya. Let us know when you're back. Grab save. I'll yeah, try. there there are riches in that square. Um, it died right here. Didn't yeah. it? Bryce has thirty more feet. Run up there. Oh shit! All right, I tell think, me, tell me how you're low. We'll hi. see if he gets medusa I think he would do it. Yeah, that's what I kind of I thought it would work. Say hi. Hi. He's right out of bounds of it. And she's like, uh, does he have any pockets? I mean, he can fill his pockets. Have a bag? Um, Anyone want to do a narrative point to say he has a He's bag? got a new pocket. Oh. Wow. Um, what if... Um, he's like eating gold. Yeah. Uh, I'll spend a narrative point to say that uh, he picks up the race, like, some tattered clothing and makes it into a bag. Sure. He's like... He shovels a bunch of shit in there. A bunch of random shit. We'll figure out what that is later. Yeah. All right. Next. What are you doing for your actual... Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <He's> <laughs> yeah that was your turn. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Are both of these things, do these things seem afraid of me? Only of one of them. This one? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, that's the one Hagen punches. Okay. He moves up and you... fucking socks <clears throat> it again. Ah! Uh, thirty-one hits it. Uh, yes. Uh, does a nineteen hit it? Yes. As with your uh, gauntleted hand, doosh, doosh. I'm gonna do both hits. I'm gonna give you all the damage to go. Uh, does he get does he get advantage on it? Hmm. Since it's laughing, it's prone. Well, it's prone. It's not. So, it floats. Can't be prone. So uh, yeah, we get advantage on it. You get yeah. advantage on it. Yeah. Let's see if I roll a twenty now. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It will get a save though. It, it gets a it gets advantage on its save because of damage. Right. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to draw the math in my head. Wait, is that at the? Um. 
it's 26 plus 22. Oh, each time it takes damage. 48. 48. 48 damage. Two hits. <clears throat> Pagan runs up and, uh, laugh at this! Punch it in the stomach and then backhand it. As you see, uh, one of its arms just fly off as its stomach explodes and it slowly recoalesces. Uh, but it is diminished, okay. and its crown is off. Uh, as there's guts and bones and like skulls that have, it just explode out of it of the things it's eaten. Can uh, Hayden use a bonus action to pick up its crown with the gauntlet? Slide of hand, we'll Slide say, of hand. because it's hovering over it. Uh, Twenty-eight. How do you get it? <laughs> yeah. You like kick it up like a ki- like a yeah. like a skateboard. Catch it. Bang. And can I throw it up to Poe? Yeah, with a twenty-eight, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, catch! Think. <laughs> you do. Yeah. Anything else? Remember, if you're in those squares, no, you know. do take all the goodness. Um, no, Hagen's trying to essentially tank them. Okay. I'm busy. Okay. So I, I take it from both. Oh yeah, so but not to... but not yet. Okay. Well, I need to roll it twice or just once. Twice. Okay. Which is better for you, actually. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It is Dav's turn. Dav. Um. Okay. So, um, I will, I guess, hold my action, or at least hold my movement until you do or don't catch the. Oh, I caught it. Oh, he catches it. Yeah. Okay. No, I just straight up caught it. Cool. Um. Then. Even if I didn't, I made you see it yeah. go whoop. Yeah. Because okay. <laughs> I cool. made it to me. <laughs> but... Cool. Then I won't worry about that. Um, the um, I mean, should we go? Do you need us? Do we go? Go, go catch up. Yeah, just make sure the others are out safe. I take it as completely focused on these raids. Yeah. As he keeps reminding you, don't leave the others in the. Yeah. Maze. It is obvious that they're stealing his life as you speak. Yeah. Fuck. All right. Like it's like looks like steam coming off of him. Uh, you also hear. <laughs> Make and sure the see, others get out safe. You see Bryce and Sarah like running as Name heals everyone. Um, you don't see Marad. Fly back over. Uh, like, you don't see sure the others get out safe. You don't yeah. see Marad or Perrin. Okay. Um, all right. So I am going to. Um, I'm gonna. F- so we're we're up in the air. I'm gonna fly. Forward and down to where I can put Poe down. Okay. So you drop off Poe. Uh, I'm gonna drop him off right about there. Okay. Uh, that's outside of the cloud. I can see. Yep. Uh, then, so that's about thirty, I think, sure. ish. Um, then I'm gonna go back up in the air. The rest of that sixty feet. So I'm, I'm 30 feet in the air, about. So you can move 50 feet in whatever direction. Um, and then I will cast Expeditious Retreat okay. to get another 120 feet of flight. Okay, so move yourself 50 feet. Okay. You'll be at a 30 altitude, wherever that is. Okay. Uh, so, so basically the 50 will get me to about there. Okay. Um, is Expeditious Retreat a first level spell? It is. Oh, really? Yes, <laughs> and I do have Tides of Chaos, so it's straight to the, the thing. The good news. All right, yeah. so go ahead and cast it and move you move yourself wherever you want to be. Um, okay, then I'm, I'm pretty sure that that will get me to hovering above to see Param and Murad over there. Because... Because I need to, I need to get over there. They look fine. So, um, how many more you, feet? Uh, I've got another sixty. So you put you down on the ground. Yeah. Sixty. That's... Yeah. That's another sixty. Cool. All right. Mm-hmm. Roll a ten. Okay. We're doing that table. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, D10. There it is. Eight. Interesting. 
I have three more, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Eight. Eight. Zero. Hold on. Big table. Yep. <laughs> five. Eight, zero, five. Yep. Four, oh, nine. Eight. Eight, zero, five, eight. Yeah. Is that a race too? Oh yeah. 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 All right. It was just in the air because it got blown. It, it went past them yeah. uh, twenty feet, so it didn't get the attack of opportunity. Uh, all sound goes completely deaf for you. I just can't hear. There is no sound whatsoever. <sighs> For all of us, or just him? Technically, it's within 100 yards, so 300 feet. Jeez. 300 feet of me, no sound whatsoever. It's no sound at all. Everything is silence. Everything is silence. Well, can we hear things in our head, like telepathy? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so in a way, well, no, we're not really at an advantage. So I can't hear anything? Just no. anything with You're verbal. You're deaf again. Yeah, I mean, no. it's kind of the same. So verbal commands don't work. I was going to say, magic that magic has a with verbal. Verbal so doesn't work. our healer can't heal. Yeah. How long does it last? Probably till the, till day the uh, we die in real life. Next dawn. The book says you have to murder <laughs> till your the next The book it... says you have to murder your parents and fuck every dog you've ever owned. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Or it lasts Until forever. Until the next dawn. <laughs> Until which, the next dawn. There's no dawn here. <laughs> is, uh, is it around me? As far as you know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> oh, awesome. Nice. All right. It's called a night you won't forget. <laughs> well, it seems like it's permanent because we can't, there's no sun, there's no dawn here. So it means we can't have a conversation with this good dog unless it's telepathic. <laughs> Is there I mean, no way to like dispel? At least not in this area. I mean, you'd probably need verbal commands. Chaos magic, baby. Yeah. You, you see... Bellwell, well, you don't hear. You hear her at first go, ah, and then it's silence. And she's like, <clears throat> and even Majoria, like, looks, like her eyes start watering. She looks over at you, and she goes, which is, what did you do? Yeah. All right, what do you do? What do uh, you do? That's my turn. Will you fly over there? I used everything I've got to get Next. there. Okay. Next. <laughs> you Next hear, <laughs> oh shit okay next is me uh this building behind me is it a, is it a mausoleum yes yeah. i'm going to run and stealth into one of its corners you do inside of it well like but beside it do you go inside of it no i want to go to one of the sides i mean you could yeah. uh, could be safe I mean, you could. So that's a 23. Yep. As you're like, <sighs> and then I'm going to take the uh, crown and roll Arcana on it. <laughs> okay. So that's a 19. Okay. Roll Sanity. Shit. Of course it's Sanity. That's a forbidden lore. Oh, yeah. It's, it's that's a nine. Oh. My sanity is horrible anyway. I mean, it's a negative two already. All right, I think you probably fail. Oh, well, yeah. A nine. Nine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you feel bad. So I lose another point. Yeah. So that takes me to six, which is still a negative two. Yep. As you stare at this crown probably need to put it on to know what it does you think you don't have to but that's that's how you have to that's what you need to do i'm gonna put it on <laughs> i am the like, wraith king as you put the crown on and feel the swell of power float in the air Maybe like, you feel like you can pass through walls. There is this 
wheel of light around you. You can see, but like no one else can because they can't perceive your own power. As you realize how great you are, how much better you are, more intelligent you are. Oh, I already knew that. Now in reality, you're just like, standing there, feeling awesome about yourself. Or is there something else going on? Hmm. Hmm. In a Lord of the Rings, when Frodo puts on the ring and claims it, uh, in the spirit realm, there's like this wheel of light, it says, and he is actually manifest into greatness for a hobbit, which is ironic. Not as you put this crown on, and yeah, you're at like full potential. Uh, there's a thrumming in your pocket. Now, now, do it now. Wraith, stop. Oh, yeah, well, that's smart. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, roll persuasion. He was the King Wraith. 17. You notice the Wraiths hear you. You can feel it. Uh, they can't, when you spoke, nothing happened. Like you're like, but your thoughts went through. Yeah. Uh, as all but the King Wraith, for this round, don't do anything. All right, next. <laughs> uh, this is called possible outcome. <laughs> of course it is. Okay, so now it's the race turn, so it would just be the King Wraith. All right, King Wraith makes his roll. Uh, DC is 18. Yes. Oh, for the hit, oh, he, he gets, left he gets it. Yeah, he gets an advantage, too. Well, it's the same number. As he gets a 19. He pulls out his sword. And it makes no noise. Makes no noise <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh, God. And he attacks you, Hagen. Let me go ahead and roll that wisdom saying. Uh, no, because uh, old dude stopped. And the other one, uh, that, that was his um, legendary action. He's using his action to attack you, not to do the aura. Oh, it's a thing they do willfully. Yes. Oh, okay. They can just, fly by and they can... I thought it was right. passive. Okay. So because you told them to stop, they don't do On it. the first one, because it was him, it was a passive okay. thing. Because I used his le one of his legendary actions. All right. Mm. So 27 right now. <sighs> Damn. Damn. I have the shield out. All right. Well, he'll use his last legendary action to give him a bonus. Let me see if he can use a <laughs> it says even with the bonus. Let's see if he can. Surely he can. No, he can. He has to roll really high. So the five. So he needs a twelve. Uh, yeah. It get his legendary gives him a plus five. He has a normal plus ten. Okay. So uh, we roll me a d twenty. Uh, he will attack you three times. Uh, Marad, will you roll one? And Poe, will you roll one? Uh, D20. I'm looking for a 12 up. Lucky, lucky, Boom. lucky. As he's like, as you tank, 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 pop his shit, but just, no one can hear it. As you're like, he feels that was good because, stuff because he doesn't have. His as he lo looks at you, kind of backs away, sees the angelic gauntlet. <gasps> he tries to peace. You get an attack of opportunity. Swing at him. Did you really? Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll it. I don't fumble. <laughs> I rolled a twenty. <laughs> roll again. Yeah. Roll again. Look oh. at that. Try and double crit. That was a nine. Okay. Deal your uh, super damage. Yeah. Let's see if you can destroy him. He does not have that many hit points. I will tell you how many he has. He's got sixty-six. 66? 
Yeah. Um, you got hero points. Remember, they double. Oh, yeah. No, I know, but I'm just trying to... Uh, six, uh, uh, ah, shark comes out. <laughs> Nobody else got that vibe? I get it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Doing 49 right now. You got hero points? Yeah, I'll, I'll spend some. How much does he have? Right now he's got 17. 17? What did he start at? He needed 66. 66. Oh, I thought he had. I thought he had. You so said he had 66 right now. Left. He has 66, 66 hit points left. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I kill him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I do a total of 69, actually. Nice. No, no, 71. No. All right. How do you destroy this guy as he f attempts to flee? That's with one hit. Um, he's very, <laughs> and he tries, yeah. to, he tries to fly away. Hagen reaches forward and grabs hold of his, like, tattered body and hulks him, slams him against the wall. <laughs> and as you, as it's just silent. Yeah, just whipping him around like a towel. <laughs> as you hit him against uh, one last time, he's like, as you hit him against the mausoleum, <laughs> as he explodes into riches. Ah. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> next is Hader. Hader, you see Hagen kill the Witch King. Whip him around like a wet towel. <laughs> Well, he's not. Yeah, he, he is the witch king, though. Whatever. <laughs> what do you do? That is a wonderful question. Um, I was turning around, so. You saw Dab fly past. Huh? You saw Dab fly past, and then things went silent. You flew. You flew, flew past me towards the wizard fight, correct? Uh, no, I flew past you towards uh, uh, Maraud and Param. Oh, jeez. Okay, and when you flew past me, did it go silent when you got to them? It was around that area. As in, it didn't affect me. Oh, oh no, no, it does. It. No, it affects the me. whole playing field is silent right now. But telepathy still works. Correct. Yes. Great. So we can still talk to the wizards because I bet they got mine stuff. He just internalizes um, screaming. He wants to hear him yelling. Like <laughs> All right, what'd you do? Does anyone look to be in immediate dire straits? Uh, Maraud. You see Maraud and uh, <clears throat> the Maraud angel. And yeah. Yeah, Param getting attacked by some fell beasts. I will head that way to help. Um, trying to avoid the one I've stabbed, if possible, <clears throat> just to not damage. Yeah, we'll see. Yep. Uh, the wraiths are incapacitated because of Poe for okay. thus far. Uh, do you attack a revenant or buzz saw? Who looks to be the most damaged? Uh, you can't tell when it comes to the revenants, but Buzzsaw is bleeding out of everywhere. <laughs> um, so I'm going to hop off the carpet and tell him to go up a little bit yep. once I hop off so as to not get the NPCs <clears throat> hurt. Um, and I'm going to go for that rev uh, for the Buzzsaw guy. All right. Will someone move Hather over to Buzzsaw as far as she can go? Uh, she's jumping off the carpet. Yeah. And she, can she just move through yeah. this? What? Because she can just jump off and gain that. <clears throat> so you can yeah. start it from there. From here? Yeah. That's 40. Do you want to go more? Uh, if, um, you, if you want to... Radagast goes to 50. Okay. Oh, you so, are... so she's trying to... It, correct me if I'm wrong. You're trying to fly Radagast oh, okay. above the situation, oh, jump off, oh, and I then see. send him away. I see, I see. 
So yeah. Five, yeah, just 10, send him 50, up a little bit. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, 50 yeah. Right and then she's looking to hop off and attack. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh. Do about All right, well, you, yeah, you jump down. Up. She was uh, bust us awesome. the L8. Yeah. L8 cap. All right, make your attack. As you okay. go death from above, uh, he cannot see you because you are, uh, he is undead. Beautiful. That's a, oh yeah. Give him that sweet, sweet snake. Um, that is a 28 to hit. <laughs> um. He's undead. Um. <laughs> Maraud, okay. then Buzzsaw, then Revenants. All right. This will be the last round. We'll have a little bit of a movement. <clears throat> so I have an idea. No. What's your idea? You see Hather jump off the, uh, like a Jedi, jump off the carpet and go <laughs> into Buzzsaw. What are you doing? Is it my turn? It's gonna be your turn. It's gonna be. What are you doing? <clears throat> I'm gonna say something to Mr. Revenant and Giant. You can't. Unfortunately, there's no sound. I'm gonna whisper. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. oh. <clears throat> Sounds good. Uh, 32 points of damage. Ooh. Boom. This is with your uh, soul stuff? Um, yep. How do you kill Buzzsaw? Yeah. I would like. Kill him by two points. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. I, um. Let me give these guys yeah. higher hit points. Thing is, I would like just to happen. have Radagast mm. speed towards the horrible Buzzman. Oh, he's and gonna have an awesome attack too. We get close. Uh huh. Like a, like a wasp. I just wanna kind of shoot off Radagast, dagger in hand, and just spider monkey right into <laughs> this guy, <laughs> and drag the blade across him with the momentum I kind of got from Radagast, and just gut him. As. You stab him in uh, the head. He spins around, mm -hmm. buzz sawing everything around him, <laughs> stumbling. Hopefully that's not my people. As you put many holes in his brain uh, and finish what Maraud started, taking his head off. Nice. Oh. Imagine Lovely. buzzsawing himself. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's like, ah, trying to get... That's a good idea. Yeah. Narrative point. As he turns his buzzsaws on himself, uh, self, trying to get you, and just... Uh, make a sanity roll. <laughs> okay. Who else is there? Param. <laughs> Everyone. That's Everyone. 19. All the NPCs Oh yeah. <laughs> What'd you get? 19. Yeah. This is nothing to you. Everyone who's there make a sanity. Sorry, That's everyone. Guys. Yeah. It's all the NPCs. Yeah. Sorry, NPCs. I don't know what Nami. You brought them. <laughs> I did bring them. They are above, so they wouldn't get a good view. Uh, the Grothrit and Grigner are fine. They are devils. They've seen lots of shit. What's uh, what's Nami's sanity? What would the score be? Or what's the plus? I have one for you. I'm gonna roll it. Uh, 46, no. What is it? 46 drop lowest. Melalel is a three. <laughs> Melalel is like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 14. So it's a plus two. And what's the save? Oh, it'll be 12. Okay. So she makes 12. Yep. I rolled right. a three. So I see, uh,. You see Hayther stabbing this thing, mm -hmm. and it's it's just unnerving just because of that. But also, she takes its head off as its eyeballs look at you, but it's all silence. It's like this horrific 
si- uh, silent film as its brain and all kinds of goodness drop out. Mm. Mm. And you go a little loony. What what is what is an, a four <laughs> sanity take me? That's when I start going positive again, right? Yeah. I think it's a plus one. Plus. No, it's plus two. Okay. What do you whisper to this thing? I whisper to this thing in giant. <coughs> Mine will be the last voice you ever hear if you kill me now. But if you want to hear again, you got to take out this wraith. Whatever this thing is. Roll... Uh, right now. Roll persuasion or deception. I'll give you either one of those. Because it's not like you're necessarily lying. <laughs> you don't really know what happened. So. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, but you have no idea. <laughs> I'm just pulling this out of my ass. Mm-hmm. We'll say the DC's fairly <coughs> more manageable <coughs> because of giant. Mm-hmm. Oh. Five. No. Wow. It stares at you. In but defiance. actually, uh, I want to. I want to try something else. Okay. I want to try intimidation. Just like it. Just, Do it. Just very close to it. Same DC. It's a uh, twelve. Eleven. Wow. Can't all that. Uh, as, it, well. as you puff up Do you your chest. Do you have any hero points? Huh? Yeah. I have. Uh, I actually have one hero point. Are you going to be heroic? Do you want to use it? Yes. All right. Okay. You automatically do it then, as you need one point because the DC is twelve. But go ahead and roll it. Uh, no, no. Hold on. Inspiration or hero? Inspiration. Oh, mm. you need to re-roll it then. I gotta re-roll it. You don't have a hero point to spend. Spent my last one. Yeah. Do it. Oh yeah, that makes it. As that revenant stops and moves out of the way, for some reason maybe the runes activate. Perhaps it's the giant speech that you're using. Maybe you're unlocking something uh, about the curse. As it moves back. You know that it won't attack right now. Next. The oh, it's the revenants. Alright. You have intimidated them to holding their action. I'm assuming you guys bounce. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, as, as so soon as possible. Yeah. Give give them the opportunity. Yeah. The raids lot. have stopped because you uh you've killed the the Witch King. You've used his crown. Did they dissipate or they're just hovering there. I mean, not attacking. If he can reach him, being that he's raging, hey, he would swing at him. Okay. I'm still the Wraith you, Then you start swinging at him. I am the Wraith King. Uh, <laughs> that is where we're going to end. I'm assuming the rest of you start GTFOing. Yeah. Yeah. You will make it out of here because you can make it out. Yeah, Hagen, on long, the, once our friends can hear Hagen fall. On the carpet and all this stuff. Uh, well, I was going to say, I've got 10 minutes of, of really fast flight. So I'm, yeah. All I'm, all this really is is your concentration. Uh, the raves won't attack if so long as you can hold them, uh, whatever. So Hagen attacks a couple times. Make your roll. We'll see if it starts up another fight. I mean, if they're within reach. Uh, oh yeah, one is for sure. Oh, persuasion. Okay. That's an eighteen on the die. All right. Yeah, as you're like punching this thing, it's like. All right. As you guys get out. Of the frying pan. And into the fire. Into the fire. That is where we're going to end. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks we're going to peace. Around. We'll be back next week. Does it matter where we are? We gonna, we're not going to. We're going to use a different one. Unless you guys come back here. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>